We are live. Hello. Hi, guys. Let me get to the comments. Hello, guys. Welcome to episode five. Is it five? Mm -hmm. I think okay, so. Hey, guys. Uh, sorry. Yep, episode five. Okay, yes. So this is episode five of Gig Talk with Dimples and T. Thank you guys for coming to join us for this episode. We hope that everyone had a wonderful break, a Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you're celebrating. We hope that you took the time to rest and rejuvenate and give thanks. And we are here tonight for our fifth episode, season one. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, why do I feel so off track for some reason? <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so we have Gig Life, who's going to be our special guest. He said, yo, yo. Side Gig is here. She hey. said, yo. Shakitha, is that how it, that's correct? Sakitha. Sakitha, 1973. Hey, hey, hey. Um, here I go. I sent the link. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Tracy Stevens. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, here All I right. Go. <laughs> Let's add our friend in here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Hi, sir. I'm looking for gig life. <laughs> Present. How are you? Tired, but I'm here. <laughs> All right. We ain't messing with your money, are we? Oh, no. I was off today. Okay. No days off. <laughs> well, he can't take any days off, so... <laughs> Stressful. <laughs> How's that so, plan? Hmm? How's that plan going? It's going. It's going. It's going. That's all I can say. <laughs> it better be going. <laughs> Ooh, she's tough. She's tough, y'all. She's tough. IRS. <laughs> <laughs> so uh the beard is gone yes the beard is gone and i'm in my contacts that's all like who's this guy where's gig <laughs> he's been cloned and we have chrissy here chrissy said hey so yes the beard is gone and oh. before we get started can you please introduce yourself and tell us a little about your channel uh well I go by Gig Life, which is also named my channel. And I started out doing mostly just Uber Eats. And um, Uber Eats got really slow during certain periods. And I like to keep moving. So I started doing some other apps. I think the first one I did after Uber Eats was Dispatch. Then I got into Favor and then all the other ones just kind of rolled into it. But my channel is just pretty much my ride along the adventures of me doing these apps and trying to make some money. And I do this full time. So it's all or nothing. <laughs> there is no uh, plan B when it comes to not making money. Wow. I think we have a plan B. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> until it's official, there is no plan B. We're working okay. on plan B. Do we get a sneak peek of what that plan B is? Maybe. After 2021, we'll be about. <laughs> so how long have you been on YouTube? Uh, on actually January of next year, January 1st will be my full year. I did my first video was December 31st of 2019, and I posted my very first video uh, January 1st of this year. So 30, uh, 31st will be the first film, and first post will be January 1st. And how uh, has this ride been so far? How has the ride been so far? Uh, a rough one. 
and it's a lot of work. <laughs> it looks easy, but it's not. It's a lot of work, but uh, it definitely pays off if you put in the work on your whatever you're doing, not just like YouTube channel, whatever you want to do. Put in that work and you'll definitely see the rewards. Hmm. Okay. So I have to say quickly that gig has helped me many times when I have said, oh, I'm not doing this anymore. I can't do this. He has given me pep talks and advice. So I want to thank you for encouraging me because, you know, I have some low days sometimes. So shout out to you. I think it was like the, maybe like the first time we actually like interacted. I think it was one of your lives that you were doing and you were talking to your audience at that time. You're like, no one's watching these videos. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I was like, I'm watching these videos. <laughs> I was like, but no, you can't just leave just yet. And I think that's when I first reached out to you and that's how we started uh, collaborating on a lot of different things. I was like, no, just keep going. Like, you can't give up. <laughs> Some people, like, I think it's the most popular YouTubers. His name is Mr. Beast. Right. He did YouTube for, I think, like five years. Nobody watched his stuff. And now he's the most paid YouTuber on there. It's just that one video wow. that you might make that'll just blow you up. And for me, it definitely was my Instacart video, the tips and tricks one or whatever. I think that was mostly the same thing for you, too. Um, all of my subscribers came in when I did that one video. And I almost didn't even do Instacart because I had such a bad taste in my mouth for doing shit when I got deactivated from them. So if I didn't do that, I mean, I don't know what my channel would be. Mm. So you just never know. Wow. Right. So, so true. So let's get into this week's topic. So I listen to different um, podcasts, financial podcasts. I read different blogs. And there's one specific podcast that I was listening to this week. It's called Stacking Benjamins. And they had like their end of year wrap up topic for their show. And that was lessons that we should have learned in 2020. So I was like, oh, we could remix this for the talk show and put a little spin on it. So we came up with today's topic, which is lessons we should have learned in the gig industry during 2020. So of course, 2020 has been such a rough year, but at the same time, a wonderful year to gather your thoughts and you know get yourself together and say okay i'm going to move in a different direction um i think hindsight is 2020 and looking back i'm sure that there are many things that we would have liked to change um moving forward into 2021 so tonight we're just going to discuss the lessons that we should have learned in 2020 while in the gig industry so um, I guess we could do like a round robin. Do you want me to go first? Why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're so good at it. Just go ahead. No. I'm not. <laughs> so on my list, I have um, if 2020 has taught us anything in the gig industry to me, and I had been preaching this before anything. Gig Life has been doing the same thing. T is doing the same thing. Is that we should, you should have learned that you should have been multi apping in 2020. Okay. You, um, you stole mine. I should have. Maybe we should have gone. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we all have this, this exact same um, answer. So, yes, uh, we sh you should have everyone that's watching right now, every single person in the gig industry, in my opinion, should multi-app. You should not put all your eggs in one basket. Do not rely on one app. You see, I'm I'm all in it when it comes to the, the gig world. And that is simply because at any point things could change. And I always say none of this is really in our control. Like, yes, we want to make money. Yes, we're going to focus on where the money, where the money resides, right? But Ultimately, it depends on how well the app is doing, what the company's direction is, and then we go with the flow. So I thought that was very important for those of you who are relying strictly on Instacart, strictly on DoorDash, strictly on Ship. I can imagine that there has been some sort of a shakeup somewhere to make you step back and say, all right, maybe I need to do something else. So that was my number, my, well, my first uh, response. Do you guys want to 
chime in? Let me pull up my list. Hold on. I just piggyback off that. I would go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. The app and definitely would be the thing to do. And just as you said, like, I mean, sadly, we're just really numbers in the big system for these uh, apps. And unlike the W2, as we like to call it, you can't run to your boss and give your side of the story and then kind of have that solidarity where they may or may hopefully <laughs> side with you and keep you on. I mean, it just takes one customer with a really good complaint and you're out of there. Or you, the wind blows the wrong way and you could be out of there too. Like, again, I still have no idea what happened with ships. I'm not bitter. I'm just saying I just have no idea what happened with ships. So uh, you really want to have a backup plan. And I mean, I would say at least have one grocery app. One restaurant app, and maybe just one of them random apps like you know Roadie or Dispatch, because some people say in their area Roadie and Dispatch is popping, and the re the restaurant apps just ain't what it is. So test your market, get a handful of them, and just try them out. You don't have to have as many as we have. I mean, if you want to be bold, but you know at least three, I think, would be a good way to start multi app. And I would say to, I, I wish I didn't get complacent and I wish I would have did more grinding because I felt like, oh, this is going to always be here. This is going to last forever. Look at these numbers. And I feel like I got too comfortable. So I wish I would have looked at this as it doesn't last forever. Seize the moment right now. Get this money right now because you just don't know if it will ever slow down. So I wish I didn't get complacent. That's one of them. That's true. Okay. Okay. Who wants to go next? Or should we look at some of the comments first before we yeah. move on? Comments. Um, okay. We saw this. The ride share culture said, hey, team. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. Uh, Angie said, good evening, everyone. Hey, Angie. Amy D said, mm -hmm. hey, T Dimples. Hey, Amy. Hey, hey Amy. Uh, Tracy said I was watching those videos too, the ones where I wanted to quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that a lot in some of your videos. Like, I oh, say it I'm often. Done. I'm, I'm like, like, I'm not gonna watch it. I know she's not about to give up. Mm -hmm. You can't give up. <laughs> I Take, a break. Take a break, but don't give up. Yeah. Miss Sonia said, Hey, all. Hey. As told by Kiva, yes, hey y'all. I have to say, I say it all the time that I like accents, <laughs> like Southern accents or just different accents. So when you're like, hey y'all and my friends, you know, <laughs> <laughs> friends. <laughs> um, as told by Kiva, said my three faves all on one screen. Thank you, girl. Christine E. Johnson said, hey y'all, three of my faves. Tracy Stevens says, as told by Kiva, I agree. They are all awesome. I hope driving with Faz yeah. calls in. Oh, that'd be crazy. I know. <laughs> Let me text her. All right, you read that. Let me text Jazz and tell her to join in. Shop with Casey. Good evening, everyone. And then Kiva said, facts. And she also said evening chat. And then Reggie says, I do Uber Eats, Instacart, and Grubhub. I got those. Miss Sonia said, stay connected to a positive community such as this one. That is true. That is true. Lewis says, hey, easy money team. <laughs> <laughs> this money's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome Pickens says, good evening. Happy holidays from Inglewood, Chicago. Hey. Oh. Sidegig said, what T said. And Sidegig also said, I never expected to be on a forced break right now. Hmm. C Gig says, hey, Dimples, T, and Gig Life. Hey. Hello. And then Amirio <laughs> says, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, so who wants to go next? Um, I guess I'll go next. Um, another thing I wish I would have known is about the different Facebook groups. I know I mentioned that a lot when we go live, but they are beyond helpful. I mean, people are in these groups 
asking questions about every little thing that you can think of. And I feel like that's how I have so much so much information to distribute to everybody else on YouTube because I'm learning it from Facebook. Now I do of course filter through certain responses just to make sure I'm getting accurate information, but I learned so much and I feel like if I had known about these groups before I started gig work, I think things would be a little bit different. I would have been more strategic when I first started. Um, but that's that's really it for me. Yeah, I think having like YouTube is vital, but remember it takes some time to film and edit and then upload. Whereas outlets such as Facebook or Instagram or Reddit, it's kind of it's happening right now. So it's I think it is important to to have mm -hmm. YouTube, yes, as a resource, but also to have those other groups as well. Yeah. Those are what I used too when I first started uh, Uber Eats, trying to get some information, you know, just see how everybody else was working the apps, what they were making and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely lock yourself into some of those groups. Yep. All right. Denise says, hi, Dimples and T. Denise from Virginia. Hey. Donna DeVore said, good evening to my favorite shoppers on YouTube. Hola. <laughs> Reggie, the spiritual king, said, always remember these gigs don't last forever because you have customers lying on us and the companies believe them. With Instacart, customers can't lie on you. Oh, yes, they can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes, they can. <laughs> well, my friend. <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> Denise said, hey, gig life. Yo, yo. Karen P., Good people, almost missed you guys. Really enjoyed these weekly chats. Thank you. Awesome. Jerome said, have you all talked about the bonus from Instacart? We did, we spoke about it last episode. Mm -hmm. But we can touch on it again for a little bit. Um, Christine said, Christine said, can I, I have a temper, I have a question. I have a, if I have a temporary plate on my car, can I add it? To Uber Eats, you can. Um, cause that's what I had on my car when I got my new one. I had a temporary plate on there. Is it a new new car or is it a a new new car? Do they even care? They do. <laughs> it's mostly you just have your VIN number and you have the style of the car, and the app will auto populate like what it's gonna look like. Okay. So, Gig, I'm going to let you go before we answer. Not go, but you give your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the next thing, um, since all of this stuff I take, I think I had a part two. Uh, I would say, trying to put, I couldn't figure out how to put this in words. I would just say, like, know your purpose. And what I mean by that is it's easy to, because even I was doing this when I first started uh, Uber Eats, the whole Facebook group thing, seeing what everybody else is posting as far as like their earnings go and this, that, and the third, and you get wrapped up in saying, well, I worked eight hours. Why didn't I make X amount of dollars? You know, you can really beat yourself up about not reaching, I, I would say realistic goals. Like, are you in that city where that person is making that money? Did you wake up at seven? How long were you really working? How many breaks did you take? You know what I'm saying? Were you strategic in picking your orders? And this is stuff I had to ask myself when I would have those moments like, well, I only made $140 today and this person at Facebook made 250. We worked Uber Eats, what happened? So I would say just really know your reasons. And um, also just going into some of the comments that I see like on my page and when I read your guys' comments as well, people that kind of attack us for doing the stuff that we do, but they have no real reason of why we might be doing this. And a lot of people can just fall into that, like, you know, getting influenced by other people. So you know why you're turning the app on. You know what you have to do to keep your lights on. So I would say just stay focused on your purpose and your mission. And I think that would really help you out. Right. Because I started to, I get the question all the time, like, how are you making the money? And I personally, when I would watch other people's videos, I would never like question myself as to why I'm not making what they're making. Like I never had that thought. But I do see how people can look at us and they're like, well, how are you making a thousand dollars a week or seven hundred dollars a week? Are you using the box. I, <laughs> right. Or like in my in their area, they're not making as much. Uh -huh. And I think having knowing your own purpose is important because 
it is it's life like it's so easy to get caught up in what somebody else is doing mm -hmm. and to me that's like definitely a slippery slope because then it's like well this is not fair what are they doing they must be tricking the system and i'm just like uh honestly when i would watch other videos regardless of what anyone made it would just give me a boost to be like all right so if he or she is out here i need to get up and stop being lazy if they can be i don't care what they made just the fact that they were out would make me say well, all right i guess i gotta get up let me just figure out you know what it is that i need to do for myself so mm -hmm. yeah and if anything that was motivation i've never like you said i've never looked at anybody else's channel I would just say, I would see it as, wow, I can make how much doing DoorDash for 12 hours a day every day? I watched the guy and he made like eight grand a month. And I'm just like, and I'm sitting here watching you and I could be out here in my car trying to get that same 8,000. So I agree with you on that. And I think too, we easily beat ourselves up. Like, and I do it too, I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh, I only I only made six hundred dollars this week. Then I'm just like, only like that's still a good <laughs> amount of money. Some people's not making anything this week, you know? Right, right. So I think it's like we do have to give ourselves some credit for the hard work mm -hmm. that we're putting in for sure. Amen. <laughs> um, let's see where we are. Oh, is this a Leo? Hello, Jennifer. Hello from Maryland. I currently do Instacart and on waiting lists for the others the others so her um that kind of leads into my my second one that i have but i'll leave i'll read the other questions as well uh shop with Kay said they sure do lie a lot she's referring to the customers <laughs> <laughs> they do. uh christine e. johnson said please let me know in the comments as i am at work and my signal is going in and out. Oh, I guess you got that T internet. Mm. <coughs> so much shade. <laughs> um, Jerome said, whoa, I missed it. You could always rewatch, Jerome. It'll be um, the ride chair culture said multiple app usage is definitely a plus to make money in this world. I wish I would have started it earlier, honestly. Yes, yes. Yeah. I spent so much time on Uber. I mean, it's busy now, and it was always kind of busy, but there would be, there would be like, what, from, at least down here was, I think it was, like, a, from 12 to 5, if I stayed out, I was just pretty much picking up scrap orders. And back then, if I had another app, I probably could have stayed busy, but I wasn't that kind of person, like, well, I'll work the morning shift, I'll go home, and then come back at night. If I went home, I was pretty much going to be home. I was going to fall asleep or start doing something else. I wasn't going to go back out, but I really wish I would have had more apps when I first started. Uh, Sonia, Ms. Sonia said, first of all, I don't see how anyone sees Dimple is negative. I feel like the platforms on Facebook display a lot of negativity. That's why I binge on y'all videos, LOL. We'll take those views. <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah. take those views. Yeah, ne um, not Netflix. Facebook can be a very negative place, but you got to just read through the... Somebody has to help me because I can't get on Facebook. Really? Yeah. Well, I keep forgetting to set you up. Mm -mm. For whatever reason. Um, Bama guy said, what up? Hello. What's up? Reggie said, yeah, they can, but you can also report as fraud when they say one of the food items was missing. Yeah, that's uh, true. I wonder yeah. how far it actually goes. But you can report it, but they're still going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, Christine says she has a 2018 new to me car. Okay, you read oh. the next. I'm just communicating with Jazz real quick. Read the next T. Kiva said exactly. I'm always encouraged. Reggie said, Dimples, I agree with you. When I watch other people's videos, I get up and motivated. Okay. Read the next one. Sorry. Christine <laughs> said, Christine said, amen, gig life. And driving with Jazz said, hey, y'all. Uh -oh, hey. <laughs> Reggie said, when I do Uber Eats, I used to go in the hood areas and customers in them areas lie on me. But when I'm in the rich area, that never happens. They want that free McDonald's. I keep hearing that. 
<laughs> I never forget. I went to McDonald's one time. They're like, oh, to pick up the food, we need a state issued ID. I was like, for burgers and fries? Like, I, they wanted identification. I'm like, listen, it's really not that serious. Wow. Amy Excuse D said, me. I started with DoorDash mm -hmm. and pennies, then decided to add Instacart. Now I'm making dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Amy got bars. Definitely need multiple apps. LaRonda said, hello. Hey. Hi, Danielle. She said, hi, friends. Hey. Oh, thank you. I want to thank Danielle for my Christmas gift. I appreciate it. Uh, Jennifer said, hey, Jazz. Sonia said, true story, Reggie. And this is for you, Gig. Read it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, did you ever try giving Uber? Oh, Uber Eats rides? No. Uh, I still bring myself, wait, I still can't bring myself to let someone else in my car thinking about switching my accounts to Uber Eats. I never considered doing the Uber rides. Um, like, just like you, I don't like random people in my car and just someone sitting behind me that I don't know they can clobber me over the head. It's just not a fun experience to think about. <laughs> so um, um, and contrary to popular opinion, I mean, well, but you guys on TV on um, the channel, I don't like to do a lot of talking. So I would be that awkward driver that would just be sitting in silence, jazz, or some music would just be playing. It wouldn't be a good experience. I would get a little rating. So me and the food, we're good. Me, the food, the camera, and you guys, when you see me, we're good. Yeah. We have the dream team. Where are you at? Where's the light? Oh, this is dark. I'm at. It's dark over here. <laughs> gang, gang, y'all. What's good? What's good? Everybody? <laughs> <laughs> the dream team for real. The Fantastic Four. Oh, can we do a um, thumbnail? Because I want this to be our thumbnail. Yeah. Let's count it down. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are they doing? <laughs> Being crazy. So, thank you, Jazz, for joining. Girl, I was already listening, but I was in this like 47, not 47, like 37 minute drive. And so I couldn't comment, couldn't say nothing. They were talking to me. So I was, I literally was listening from like, I think the beginning because I got a notification. So I was already here, you know? <laughs> thank you. So, you know the question then? Yes. Oh, and, huh? you know what the topic is for this week. Yep, and I heard everybody's commentary and I must say that that is my exact same sentiment. Like when I first started doing gig work, I was only doing Uber and Lyft, predominantly Uber. When the pandemic hit, I started doing Instacart. I signed up for Postmates, started doing everything else. And I realized like, dang, I should have been doing this from the beginning, for real. And to, to piggyback off of what Gig Life said, he said, just keep something like Rody and uh, pick a point or, you know, something similar, just there. Like, just have everything available because even if I were making $12 an hour, I would, hey, it's better than no money. So I wouldn't even care. If I get to a point where everything is low or, you know, whatever the case, some money is better than no money. So mm -hmm. I that's my, that's my number one lesson. Make sure you have um, multiple ways to get it because what happened in March with Uber was crazy. Right. There's nothing like a wasted day. And I hate getting ready to go out and work and can't make any money because one app is slow. And if that's all, the only app I have, then what am I going to do? You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And that leads into my second um, response, which is have multiple streams of income. When I talk about the gig world, you all know that I include other things. Whatever it is that's outside of what you normally do to make money, I think is important. So to me, I would say have multiple streams of income. Like Gig, you have your art. Uh, Jazz, you have your holistic company. T got other um, ventures that she's in. So I think it is important to have the multiple streams of income because I have a full-time job. So I don't have to go. Not, I don't want to say it like that. If I do not go out. You're going to say that. I, I, have to to I, have, I have to choose my words. I have to choose my words so carefully because people will really attack me. So they will. Mm. Back you. I'm like, uh, so if I do not choose to work the gigs, I know that I have another stream of income 
coming in. So to me, it's very important to have multiple streams of income because just like you said, Jazz, in March, what happened with Uber and Lyft, it was crazy, right? Money, I was living off of savings. I was, uh, then I started doing Postmates. That was trash, but I was out, like I said, money, you know, 10, 10 to $12, uh, 17, $16 better than zero. Right. Do you two want to piggyback? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, multiple streams of income. Definitely agree with that. That honestly was one of the main reasons why I started this channel. I think we talked about that on Driving with Jazz's uh, live stream when um, I first popped up on there, which was random. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was watching these videos, seeing how people were doing. I was like, oh, okay, you can actually turn on your apps and make money. That's cool. Um, and I was like, well, I know YouTube pays you for doing that. So why not just film it? I'm already out there. It doesn't look like, back then I didn't think it looked like much. You know, you just turn on your camera and do it, but there's a lot to go into it. You know, a lot of filming, a lot of editing, and uh, it, it's a job in itself. So don't think just jumping into YouTube is just gonna be filming and just hope stuff comes through. So um, we got multiple streams. I, YouTube definitely is a stream. Uh, I got a lot of stuff I post on eBay, like you said, my art. And next year, that's what I really kind of want to work on, like drop shipping and stuff like that. I kind of want to get a little bit more into that. So hopefully if I get decent at it, I can post some videos on that too. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah, I think it's important too, because especially for somebody like me, like I don't really take no mess from a lot of these jobs. And that's how I knew that I need to have some kind of plan B through Z because I have so many stories of when I went to work and I said, oh, I'm not doing that. Y'all, <laughs> y'all can take this idea. So, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not doing so it. So they're taking your mess tea, it sounds like now. Pretty much. So it's just like, <laughs> y'all either got to deal with me and me talking back or I can just leave. And so that's when I realized like one job is just not enough. So it's, it's very important. <laughs> it's very important. And you don't get bored. You know, you can... Uber is going to be a different experience than Instacart. Instacart is going to be a different experience than whatever other app you work. And if we're doing multiple things, you know, eBay is a whole different animal besides just going out and driving. So it makes it interesting every day because I feel like a robot answering phones every day at the job I was before I started doing this. Speaking of eBay, I literally just posted some shoes on eBay yesterday. And I ain't been on eBay in a long time. But literally, somebody is trying to buy the shoes today. So I think... And I've been studying this for like the last month or so. I think I want to get into uh, flipping pallets. And but, but my issue is that I'm trying to cut my overhead by not, because I don't have enough space in my in my house, but I want to do like a store thing and make, not, a, I don't need a vent or anything, but I'm trying to figure out how I can actually get things to a facility and store through it. And, you know, going through the qualms of that. So like you were saying, doing the drop shipping, it's not the same, but it's an idea or a concept of making money to where like I used to have a boutique online so I like to sell stuff and I know how it goes same with job shipping even though you're not actually sending it to the person it's the same concept you know you sell the product so I kind of want to get into that like a, a lot so I'm considering that if you're looking for space to flip pallets maybe you should rent like one of those storage spaces where people you know have like a storage space make enough room for you to put a, two pallets in it you can actually walk through and cipher through it and you know what show is that? That's a show, right? Yep, sure is. I can't remember what it is, but I something I pickers or something so like people, that. So people walk in versus me posting it online, like offer up and eBay and the, they, they do it both ways. Yeah, they turn their little garage thing. Like like, oh, yeah, and they walk in there and pick what they want. Some stuff is listed online. Some stuff is listed. Uh, I mean, just in the area you walk into. I know. Yeah, uh, I know. You. We brainstorming right now. <laughs> 2021, 10 streams of income, four and four active, active, or vice versa. What am I saying? Yes. Yes. Thank you. That's a good, uh, good, oh, I'm gonna curse. a good idea. <laughs> good idea. So the third thing that I have mm-hmm. as a lesson that we should have learned in the gig industry during 2020 is to have an emergency fund. Yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> with the gig world and the unpredictability of it all, even in the non-gig world, to me, when the pandemic hit, I didn't feel 
like I felt okay knowing that I had a six month, well, more than six month emergency fund. And I was just like, okay, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know that going into it that I felt comfortable, you know, because I had that backup money. So mm -hmm. that's what I would say is like my number three. And I agree because I only had like two months of expenses rolled up or stayed up. But the thing is, my car, my little car that I have been using for Uber went down recently, like in August. So that and stuff, just for, and even you can attest to this, like something happens with your car. Not only are you out of a car and now you have to rent a car or God forbid there are no cars for you to rent, you will literally have to find a way to make money or you have to live off money that's safe. So that is a huge one. Like, yeah, Nipples yeah. got all the points tonight because <laughs> she got everything. <laughs> <laughs> for real. You ain't lying. Mm -hmm. And I would say even a step further for me, when the pandemic hit, I learned to be debt free. I didn't have any kind of savings. If I had something in my savings account, it may have been $400. And it was like a wake up call for me because I'm like, if I didn't have credit cards, I wouldn't have had any money to stock up on food. You know, they said, go to the grocery store, stock up for like one to two weeks. And I'm just like, if it were not for these credit cards, I would be hit. So it taught me that I don't want to be in debt anymore. Maxing out my credit cards, it's not fun. It's, well, it's not funny anymore because for me, I just didn't care. Like <laughs> swipe, 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 whatever I want. Charge it. I'm going to pay the minimum every single month. But now it's just like, no, that's not cool. Get this, get rid of this overhead so that my money is mine. Yes. And I'm actually about to hop on t saying, do y'all know? That's following her comments the other day on Instagram because I say I need to put myself on the 200 a dollar day plan too you know what i'm saying so and i was on that for a while but i've become complacent i guess since i started doing blog but to be honest i'm about to get back on that 200 dollars a day and i need to i, I can't go in the house if i get 198 maybe i'll cut myself some slack but you know what i mean like i need to be on that 200 dollars yeah. a day it's busy enough to to get if not 200 close enough 200 because you know when i first started 100 was all like oh 100 i'm out you know Sun's <laughs> still up, i'm going home <laughs> like this is i'm done but now it's like, yeah, I need to at least make 200. Like, I got enough apps. It's busy enough. Bills are real. I got to make at least $200. Yeah. And when you're and seeing I'm it, it's going to be easy to put away, you know? <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, if I could just do $200 a day for, like, four or three months or even a month or two, like, it, it's going to change everything. Yes. But savings, are that that's a really good point. Yeah, you really got to have some savings. So I didn't have a savings and that came from my 401k. It wasn't like I was just sitting on money. 401k money that I was pulling with my car before it, the crash, you know, you guys heard me, oh, my brakes is this, the car is this. If I didn't have the money, I don't know where, what, what the Jeep would have been doing, you know? So definitely, because people ask you all the time, should I just quit my job and start geek work? Do you have a savings? <laughs> because, you know, like you go out there tomorrow, turn the corner, kaboom, and then what are you going to do? So have something saved up. All right. Y'all know Gig in the bottom of Ben, so to be honest with y'all, I just want y'all to know that he about to buy something. <laughs> he about to buy something because he out here balling. That's all I'm saying. You know, he don't tell y'all, but I know. Too much. <laughs> 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 I should show the uh, analytics one day. Huh? Maybe, maybe that's a video I'll do for uh, January of next year. Analytics video. What? That's how you did one. Yeah, you it, was, it was, yeah, but you should, I mean, if you want to, but honestly, it would be great. Especially if you were super it great. <laughs> no, it was. Because I'm thinking to myself, like, it would be great, especially if you were intentional. Like, if you know, like, you went into this, because like you said, we talked about it on my channel a while ago. Like, you went into this knowing that this was uh, going to be a source of income. But if you were intentional for real and you knew exactly what you were doing, like, of course, please share it because, you know, I'm trying to be all throughout algorithm. I just know what I know. In the last I think one the main reason so. why I want to do that because yeah, it the whole YouTube thing. If anybody's like trying to think about making the game, it's more than just posting the video. I think me and Dipple talked about this when I was you know first started talking about her channel. Tags, titles, thumbnails all help, 
And um, the biggest thing that I think, the thing, look at me. <laughs> the biggest That's thing right. that I think that right. can, <laughs> is the face. Facebook really did help a lot, I think, with my channel in the beginning because I went directly to um, Uber Eats Facebook group. Like I was on the official Uber Eats Facebook page. My very first video, I just posted the link in there and see if they would show it. And they did. And a lot of people came over directly from there. And even in Facebook Austin, which is where I am, I posted a couple of videos. I did my first five videos in there, but then I stopped. I didn't want to look like spam. But if you also go to Facebook and type in YouTube uh, channels, um, there's a whole bunch of, like, join a whole bunch of them. And just post your videos in there. Every video, I think probably my first 20 videos, I posted it in there. I posted it everywhere I could possibly post. So. The views are where you really want subscribers are great. I'm not like down in my subscribers or anything, but the views yeah. bring you subscribers. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can have a billboard or you can have a little post in them. So you got to have the views and that's going to so, bring you subscribers. So question, have you considered actually creating a Facebook page and monetizing that? Is that something you thought about? Because I've thought about it, but honestly, it's, it's too many. It's a different type of people that's on YouTube than on Instagram than on Facebook. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Question. Like um, creating a YouTube, oh, no, sorry, a Facebook page and monetizing it. So up, literally uploading an MP4 to Facebook and then having that be another channel to, to monetize. So I would platform. say you do that. Yeah. Uh, I would say do that because <laughs> there, there's no such thing as not enough advertisement when you want your stuff out there, you know? Even if you were drop shipping and you're trying to do your boutique thing, put it everywhere because you never know who see it. We got a lot of people on YouTube that don't go to Instagram. I mean, crazy as that is, and vice versa. Got a lot of people on TikTok who gave up on YouTube. So make a TikTok page, make an Instagram page. And another thing that's really slept on is Pinterest. I posted some videos on Pinterest. And oh my God. <laughs> the, the, I'm talking like within a minute, it already got a thousand views. I'm like literally post it, refresh it. It already had like a thousand views just on the, the thumbnail. So there's a lot of places you can get your, um, your views um, and, and in this genre, which is so like, I guess people just love to see people shop or do what we do. It's a lot easier. Cause like I said, I have my art channel. I do the same thing and it's slow to come, but in this thing, people very interested in it. Mm. And the analytics will tell you too, where the source is coming. Exactly. From. So I don't yeah. even have Facebook and I can see that people are watching me on Facebook, even though I I don't have Facebook. Wow. So, yeah. Most of mine come from like, uh, suggestions. I get. I don't even post links on Facebook, honestly. And I don't even. I may have. Maybe somebody copy and paste in my video. I don't know, but my thing is very low. But I think I'm gonna try that. Just to, just to see. Okay. So, does anyone else have any lessons we should have learned in the gig industry during 2020? To relax. To not panic. I. I really think I suffer from like anxiety because. It's just, I, I would freak out mentally. And it's like, just calm down. Like you got a whole hour to deliver. It, you're only in like, you know, the first 15 minutes of the delivery window. You still got 45 minutes. You did the shopping. You just got to drop it off. So I yeah. wish I would have like calmed myself down and not panicked and just really just took things easy. Just, just relax. Just relax. <laughs> now you can't do this T, but maybe everybody else can. You can't take your days off. I'm sorry. But <laughs> others, others, I would say, do rest. Do rest. Please rest. Because I would run myself in the ground. Because like I said, back then when I was trying to make $100 a day, if I wanted a $600 a day week, I have to work six days. You know what I mean? So sometimes just knowing when to say, okay, the money's going to be there. Maybe today I'll take it off. Or knowing when to cut your day short. Cause I, you know, me, I'm like, I just want to see this through the end. Like I'm gonna sit out here all day till I make it. Sometimes you do need to say, this is a this is this day is a bust. Let's go ahead and cut it off at three. Maybe come out later or maybe just start over the next day. Cause I felt like I really wore myself out in the earlier stages, just really chasing the money when sometimes there wasn't any money there to even get. So yeah. Sometimes just take a day off. Yeah. But you true. can't you know, wear myself out now but I, I feel like yesterday I just I'm like hey I made $120 I'm about to chill like whatever because honestly <laughs> especially when you're doing when you're doing other things you just like you kind of have to it's not like I was just driving all that I don't have anything else to do I have other things to a plethora of things and I you yeah. just, you just want to be able to be equipped if that makes any sense for lack of better word 
the days go by so quick. Like you do one or two things and it's already like night, especially with this time change. So it, it's hard to fit everything you want to do in a day. That's true. Let's get into some of the comments. Richard is here. He said, happy Sunday, state ID. That was in Brooklyn. They sure did ask for that. Um, let's get it said, you're welcome, friend. I wanted to surprise you. Thank you. I was very surprised. Um, hey, it's Misty. Said, I'm giving up on Instacart. Orders in my area are ridiculously low for a lot of items. I would say put it on the shelf. Don't give up on it. Just put it on the shelf and come back to it when it's time. But don't give up. Psygig said, hey, Jazz. Jazz ain't even listening. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I'm looking at, y'all, I'm looking at comments. Hey, y'all. <laughs> A shop with K said Jazz still has daylight. Denise said hi, Jazz. Oh, it's a lot of hold on. I I I'm lost now. Hi, right. I am behind on the, the comments. Go T. Karen said, Hey Jazz. Amirio hi. said the gang is all here. Kiva gang, said gang. Hey, Jazz. Hey Kiva. Nisla Jane said, hi, everyone. You are my faves. Thank you. Thank you. Karen P said, all my faves on one screen. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. We out here. Shop with K says, multiple apps is the way to go. Agreed. Miss Sonia said, okay, so you all feel like the newbies will benefit from coming in multi-apping at, at this stage of the game. I would. Yeah, I would. I mean, everybody's gonna have their favorite app, like Uber. I, you know, like the people say, like no loyalty. Because I heard uh, Dimples and Edm always say no loyalty, and that's what I was like. I just gotta rep Uber. I can't turn on Grubhub. I can't turn on DoorDash. But if Uber cut me, then what? So I would say you might have your favorite app, but I would still try to be versed in a few others. And just because we say multi app doesn't mean you need to just. I'm gonna work at Albert and Grubhub. I'm gonna work at Albert and Uber Eats. You don't have to just switch between apps. If Uber's paying you and you're doing good in Uber, just stay in Uber all day. You don't have to go do a grocery store app. But if Uber's slowing down and you're seeing big uh, grocery orders and you're, you know, you know how to do them, I would say go run and do those. Make the best use of your time. I, I disagree just a little bit. Um, not not so much with everything that you said, but I feel like with newbies. I don't think that they will benefit at this stage in the game if they don't do their research. I feel like if they are looking at us trying to make what we make, it's possible. But if they don't do their research, I think a lot of them will get frustrated and just fold and say, how come it's not working for me? But I think it's because they're not taking the time to do research. I literally spent hours watching all of you do Instacart. I mean, days. Because I'm and trying that to made her hate Instacart. Huh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Made you hate Instacart. <laughs> yes. But that's kind of what we were talking about earlier. Like, you don't want to compare your success to someone else's. Eventually, you're going to have to learn it. So, yeah, doing the research, definitely. You don't want to just jump into the, the wolf's den and not know who to yeah. fight. But I do think you do want to know some other apps. I mean, how new are you? The person who answered, who put that question up there, how like how new are you to the the app world? I think but I'm that it's a believer. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> no, say I'm that a believer. Oh, we've still okay. <laughs> I was saying, um, yes, we should multi app, but I think you should still get to know one app at a time before you say, "I'm gonna do it all." Cause I still get comments like, oh, well, how do you multi-app? Do you turn off one app? Do you do this? That lets me know that this person doesn't understand what I'm saying. So I think it is good to kind of quote unquote master the apps as you go along before you say, okay, now I'm ready to multi-app. Move to another one, yeah. 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 So I'm a believer in experience though, because I've had situations where I feel like, you know, it's not that, for example, it could be Instacart, it could be DoorDash, it could be whatever. It's really about your experience. And like a lot of things that I get, or a lot of questions that I get under the Instacart app is that, you know, oh, how do I do this or what do that? The directions are literally in front of you. 
Like everything is nothing that you need to ask me personally. As far as the app goes, that is not already there. And so the thing is, I think people just think about it too much when you should just try to do it because you only have a certain amount of people in each market that are telling you exactly what it is from their level of experience, from their perception. That one person has many of the people in one area telling you like, hey, well, no, you shouldn't do it or you shouldn't do it. Just go and try because the same person that's saying, okay, I'm in Arizona and I'm only make $17 an hour. But I'm in Arizona and I make $26 an hour on average. Our mechanism and the way that we do things is different. I wake up at 5 a.m. I leave out at 6. This person doesn't get up until 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. You know? So it's like, it's all about trying it. Like, there's nothing wrong with just. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry. She said, I'm breaking up. You're um, breaking. Try to come nothing. out and then come back in because it's like choppy just a little bit. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, no, I, I just want to clarify. I, I do think that new people can benefit as long as they do their research. I just want to clear that up. They can just do just do your due diligence. Cause I just I see a lot of people, they hear the hype about gig work and they just jump right in. And it's like, oh, well, I only made seven dollars for an hour, but T made 30. And it's like, okay, but you you just gotta do your research. So that's all. And I think too, we need to look at the markets. Like I live in a market where the cost of living is way more than it is in another state. So you cannot possibly think that you're going to make the same. Like they have to pay us just a little more because taxes are high. Everything is high. Food, taxes, clothes, everything. So T is making, let's say she's making $40 an hour, but someone in a whole nother state, maybe seven or 10 is, it is what it is, you know? I think we're all kind of saying the same thing, maybe just in different languages. But yeah, you definitely want to know your market. <laughs> I mean, I get those comments too. What's the best apps I should use? I don't know. What's your market? Where are you? <laughs> you know, are you in Alaska? <laughs> do they even have these apps that you see us running in your area? I mean, that goes to like you said, do your research. Um, and once you're out there, you need to run that app a good, you know, a good amount of time. Don't just do one or two. Like, oh, this is trash. I mean, Mondays might be a trash day. But Tuesdays is hot and you gave up on it. You didn't, you would never know that. Right. So yeah, doing your research. I think it all kind of plays into what we're saying. Do your research um, and don't give up so soon. Jazz. Oh, am I still breaking up? You're a little choppy, but. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I'm still you were good when you first got on. Huh? You were really good when you first got on. Girl, I don't know what happened. Maybe because the sun came down. Nope. Uh, <laughs> you never know. Um, can you hear me now a little bit? Or no? We can hear you. Okay. I was just saying that um, sometimes I feel like experience is the best teacher in short. That's just all. You know, um, you can research all day. You can research all night. You know, mm. but... Sometimes and it's not like you're having to make a huge investment. It's not like you have to pay $25 like on Task Rabbit. Like they just jimmy out my little coin. But when you have a free app where you can just <laughs> download it and apply for it, do a background check, simple stuff, just try it out. Just try it out. And if you can testify and say, oh, I, I've only made $4 an hour, then okay, don't do it. But after doing research, don't spend too long on that. Just have a bit of experience like literally just try just try it just try it y'all and the premise behind the apps are kind of the same i mean i did shipped and instacart wasn't any different it's just learning how instacart's app worked you know what i mean instead of hitting i think on ship you have to hit one two three to get the count instacart is like okay i got it done and you just kind of scan it move along. i think uh corner shops like that now you have to type in the actual quantity but i mean once you get the basic of one app like you like you said if you're gonna do just restaurant apps i don't really see much of a difference between grubhub and uber eats in the sense of maybe there's a couple more steps but the premise of it's the same but it's just what is it going to do in your market what is it going to do in your area is it really worth it in your area you won't know until you do it that's good Isla Jane said, does anyone on the live have 
tax filing concerns? I know it's going to be tricky this year because I have so many things, but I'm going to leave that in the hands of a professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not concerned. I'm just curious to see how it all unfolds, but no concerns. I'm not concerned. I'm actually meeting with my CPA tomorrow. And you I guys know I, I talk about this all the time. <laughs> I think the, the more apps that you you have and the more streams of income that you generate, just let somebody pay somebody else to do it, to be honest. Uh, Jazz, you're muted. Jazz, you're muted. Jazz is pulling a T. What's happening? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm excited because I do my taxes myself and I do it myself because I like to know these things. Like I literally, I'm into finance. I'm into budgeting. I'm in like this. I just have a natural interest in it. So for me, this will be my first time doing my taxes where I have a bunch of 1099 forms or whatever the case. But one thing that saves me as I talk about all the time, you guys, is counting my mileage. Thus far, we're at the end of December. December, I reclaimed twenty one thousand dollars plus, and allegedly, according to everything that's in my book, I owe about almost twelve grand in taxes. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that. So you subtract that 21 or subtract the 12 from the 21. But that is the importance of counting your mileage. So regardless if you get a CPA, if you do your taxes yourself, whoever you go to, count your miles. Because that's gonna do a major yeah, thing. We'll break it down. So uh, like that, is yeah, multi -app because of the taxes. They think multi app uh -huh. is gonna make it more confusing for them. I mean like the people who are watching us, are they scared to multi app? because they think their taxes are going to be more complicated? I just think it's new for them. They they probably just always had a, a, a W-2. I just think it's a new experience for them. So they are, you know, what's Im important to me is the fact that they're actually thinking about it and they are afraid. Because the people who don't care, they're just like, all right, we went this place, we are not paying our taxes. So I'm happy that they are concerned. But to piggyback off of what Jazz says, like I say, I have a CPA, but my CPA was my accounting professor in college. So he's oh. a teacher. We're learning. Whatever he's doing, I want to know what he's doing. So um, I want to add the importance of having other means to help you help your gig experience easier. So like Jazz said, tracking your miles. I think that is tremendously important keeping a detail of all your expenses, the equipment that you purchase, the gas, the maintenance, your cell phone bill. Like you need to be more diligent with how you move forward because everybody wants to be their own boss, but there's a lot that comes with being your own boss. It's a lot. So yeah. don't, it's about to be December 31st. Oh my God, my taxes, my taxes, my taxes. But this is actually something that you should have been thinking about at the top of the year, January 1 for now. So it's important to have your, your stuff in order, I think. So that's yeah. a lesson that we should have learned in the gig industry during 2020. That's a big lesson, y'all. Get your taxes ready. Mm-hmm. And documenting mm -hmm. your gas expense, all your expenses. It doesn't matter if you got work on the car, it doesn't matter or renting a car and putting that in a how do you say a um a uh not a written form what it, when it's in the computer I don't know I can't think of the term but electronic. electronic yes even if it's like something what um what Dimples does with her spreadsheet or even um uh, uh something like how do you say QuickBooks just make sure you have that and don't waste it a lot and please don't waste it the last minute for this. You cannot be throwing all of this stuff at your tax person or the CPA, whatever the case. And and then two weeks later, still missing stuff. Like having all of that together, collective, and then also not only in physical form, but in electronic form. Because guess what? Something can happen where, I don't know, your house burns down, God forbid, or somebody robbed your house and then it's in the safe and they took the safe. Like you, anything. <laughs> <laughs> They taking the whole safe. They just taking the whole safe, <laughs> girl. They, they, they be stealing. They be stealing. <laughs> mm. Let's get into the comments. Denise said, "Lynn Richardson says it's best to have multiple incomes." 
Yes, sure. my auntie. That's my, I was literally listening to her today. I love her. That she the go. She the go. Yeah. Yes. Uh, T. Reggie said, "Jazz, right? I hated Postmates. That app was trash. Last year, I did Postmates, and I only made forty dollars in six hours. No, ma'am, sir. <laughs> wow. What? But when Christine. you um, when, you know. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Christine said, "Tab four. Okay. Angie Dunbar said, "I don't do well on Postmates either. Only Door, only DoorDash." I'm on the waiting list for others, for the others. Let's gig it. Say, where's the link? To call in. To call in. Oh. Where's the spreadsheet? Dibble got it on her website for 10.99. <laughs> so all I'm saying is, she gonna have it on her website in a week or so. I thought it was already up, but maybe it's not. So website. Okay. All right. Don't be cracking the whip on me like I'm cracking it for tea. <laughs> hey, <laughs> do it, do it, do We're it. Talk about passive income. Yeah, I mean, put it out there. Tax season is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is Jazz YouTube? Let me let me add it and T. You read the next. I'm just gonna add her YouTube. Storage wars. Five gig says storage wars. <sighs> maybe on a. He knows. That's what it was. Yep. I need to write that down. That's what it was. Thank you, Sidekick. Oh, Christy responded to Angie saying driving with jazz. Gig responded to Sidekick saying, I think that's one of them. How Gig responded to comments? <laughs> 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 he got a, uh, a dual monitor, a triple monitor. Because we're so behind in the comments. <laughs> Yes. Richard said, I have reincorporated Postmates into my re repertoire of apps. What? How is that going? Because I don't even turn them. Yeah, no, Richard, let's talk about Postmates. How is Postmates, <laughs> my friend? Okay, Richard, off. where are you located? Where are you? <laughs> See, that's the market. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's in Cali. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think everything's like popped up, uh, busy in Cali. Chrissy said, you're welcome. Richard says, sinking funds are the way to go. I highly, 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 highly recommend sinking funds. What a we, difference it makes. We know. <laughs> Did you hear? Did you hear? We Did know. Hear me? Not bad. We know. <laughs> Ms. Sonia said, I've done street fairs, flea markets, organized fashion events, repurposed and sold vintage furniture. Mm -hmm. So vintage vintage clothes and jewelry organized and hosted estate sales. So right. Sonia, please leave us or leave me. You can email me, girl, comment under a YouTube video. Give me some advice on all of that. Cause I'm not used to doing the whole state thing or just having people walk up to me or you know, please email me, contact me, please. Give me some in this chat, give me some advice. Cause that's everything that I'm trying to kind of low key just do on the side. So let me know, please. I love estate sales. I got thought about the notary. Notary? I used to paint furniture. I think I want to get into that next year. The notary? I actually have the paperwork to, to study, but I just haven't taken the exam. Thank For what time. now, you say? Notary. Becoming a notary, like a mobile a notary. Do y'all watch Les Jazz Up? She, does, she talks about that. Mm -hmm. I think I might have seen her. I think she might have been the one that I saw that made me want to do that. Yeah, that girl does vending machines. She do a lot, so. <laughs> I like that. That's my vibe. I'm going to say yes, girl. I feel that. <laughs> Let's do this shit. Bills are definitely real. Yes, they are. <laughs> and rent is not too far away. <laughs> so Keitha said, I need to be on Dimple's payroll. <laughs> sure about that? Right. <laughs> I see Jazz sweating. I mean, not Jazz. I see T sweating in every video talking about that plan. So uh, make sure. Be careful what you ask for. Uh, Ms. Sonia said, I started with Etsy and Postmark apps in 2011. Etsy was not good to me, though. Hmm. Me really? neither. I have I my think A lot of women are on there, though. How, what's the percentage of women that's on Etsy? I would presume more, maybe. 
a lot from what I've heard. I mean, it's a popular site. I mean, it's, I think it's just what you were selling, what you're selling. Okay. Right. Because nobody buying my stuff from my Etsy shop that you guys requested. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Danielle. Danielle is the only person that purchased something. It's all good, though. <laughs> Danielle, you're saving the day. <laughs> Tracy Steven said, yes, I agree. You have to stick to your daily goal. <laughs> hey, Seuss. Kia Megazord activate. How rough. <laughs> Leave somebody from my channel. <laughs> oh, my Miss, God. Wait, what's she saying? Miss Sonia said, one of Dimple Streams is the ultimate consulting firm. For <laughs> yeah. Oh I keep trying to tell her. Ain't nobody going to pay for that. Come on. Girl, you know please. You know, we need to all, we all, after this live is over, all three of us really need to get on Dimple's ass, but not in public. <laughs> not in public. But when this is over, please. Hide your camera city right now. <laughs> <laughs> Zelma says, with Postmates being acquired by Uber Eats, do you think there will be any changes to their platform? To the Postmates platform? Probably. I mean, how soon do you think? Hmm? How soon do you guys think changes are going to take place if you, if you, uh, if they do? Probably by the end of next year. Depending on how fast they get everything together. Because Postmates does grocery too. Cause I use them for grocery more than I use. Uh, mm. uh, yeah, they, got, they, they they be doing the Apple Store and everything. That's true. I yeah. didn't know that. Everything. Zara, Zara yeah. Sidekick <laughs> yeah. said, Miss Sonia Dimples is a free consultant. <laughs> <laughs> For now, next year that's changing. See? Rates are going up. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, get y'all advice for free now because 1 1 2021. No. <laughs> strikes 2021, January 1st. Yep. Charge it for everything. <laughs> Side gig said, I got to go. T just posted a video. <laughs> you? Okay, you posted the video. <laughs> it already loaded. I had edited it. And so once it actually got done processing, I made it public. Dang, Psygig. Commenting and I'm posting, and this is just funny. <laughs> Psygig said, I saw that. Kiva said, Zelma, I really hope they do. I use Postmates one to three times per week to keep active on it, but that app is hit or miss for me. Mm, it's always a miss for me. I don't have it. I hear a lot of people talk about it saying, don't get it. Yeah. Miss WW says, hello, everyone. Hello. Hola. Angie says, anyone renting a car but carry your own insurance? No, I don't. I rent the car for Uber through the Uber Avis program. I actually have a playlist about it, but no, I do not carry my own. Well, actually, I do carry my own insurance for my own vehicle, but for not for that vehicle. Because for Uber, the deductible is the standard $1,000. We are so behind in comments. We are. Yeah. Gig life, your thumbnails are fire. Thank you. Oh, we are so behind. All right. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> continue, continue watching the comments. <laughs> H Blonde says, hi, everyone. Hello. Try to get her on the show. Maria says, hey, guys. Hello, Maria. Les Giga says, I took Saturday off and I loved it. I take many Saturdays off now. <laughs> Reggie says, I use a rental car and I just let my own car sit in my driveway. I am not putting no miles on my car. Wish I could do that. I hear that, Reggie. Les Giga says, I love Instacart. It's cool. Oh. <laughs> Bad B says, hey, Gig. Hola. D says, hey. Hey. Bad B says, love all y'all's hard work on your channels. Appreciate Thank you, Bad B. I love your name, to be honest. Bad B. Okay, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Angie says, Reggie, I carry my own insurance, but, I am, but I'm not able to get on with Uber Eats because I have an older car. I guess you have to carry the rental insurance. 
What's it got to be a 2006 mm -hmm. or higher for the Uber Eats to take you? For Uber Eats? And DoorDash. Yeah, I think it's got to be at least a 2006. To carry hamburgers okay. and french fries? Yeah. Okay. You know, it's probably a good thing I did get a new car because my Jeep Commander is 2006, so they might have cut it. Wow. Why you need to cut it? Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Tracy said, I have no loyalty with these apps. <laughs> Not anymore. Hey, Tracy. Janet Collins says, Goog Life is doing very well in the Zoom. Thank you. <laughs> Blue to Green Travel says, hey, everybody. Hello. Hola. Miss Sonia says, I'm new to the gig world, but I have been napping through Postmark and Etsy side 2011. I think it's OK. She keeps saying Postmark, but it's Poshmark. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm probably auto correct. Coco Beauty says hi. Hi. Reggie says to Angie, okay, what year is your car? Kiva says, I joined the app world in October. I did my first shift in Instacart. I love them both. I also do Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Postmates. Miss Sonia, she said, oops, I meant apping. <laughs> Not napping. <laughs> H Blend said, "Yes, agree with Dimples on Demand. I drive for I drive for about three years now, but just recently started multi apping, and I'm comfortable in doing so." Nice. Let's gig it says I multi apped earlier. DoorDash, Grubhub, Instacart. That's a good mix. Blue to green travel says yes. I agree to get to know each app. C gig says hello everyone. Hello. Angie says to Reggie, 2001. Oh, yeah, let's cut off. Leah says, just popping in. Thank you all for the videos. I've been, I binged, watched you all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Reggie says to Angie, because my friend does Uber Eats and she has a 2000 Chevy Impala. Seagig says, hey, Kiva. Reggie says to Angie, they should they should let you. It might just be your city or state. Richard says, also with the shopping apps, I think it might be good to think small and ramp up. Get into a rhythm and learn the nuances before moving to a new app. Leah says, I'll catch you guys on the replay. Thanks for watching. See you, Leah. <laughs> Kiva says, I took the time to take the classes and certifications for Shipped and Instacart. They helped a lot, plus watching you four and others. I think we have more. Thank you, Kiva. Les Giga says, T, how was your trip? It was pretty nice. Thanks for asking. Where'd you go? Atlanta. Atlanta. What you, was what you was doing in Atlanta, though? I know it's to be your birthday, right? Yeah. She's like, Happy that's all. Birthday. Birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Kiva says, hey, chicas. Jerome says every area is different. Les Giga says Kiva, hey. H Bland says, hey, Kiva. They start talking to themselves. Right. <laughs> 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 Let's Angie go. said, Reggie, my car not running, but I still pay insurance on it. And I use that cover on the rental because it's cheaper. Uh, Miss WW says, T, I see you do DoorDash. Are you signed up for Uber Eats too? I'm planning on signing up for it this week. I'm currently doing DoorDash. I am not signed up for Uber Eats, but I'm in the process of attempting to do that. So when you, when were you going to ask me for my code so I could get a little referral? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to punish you. I got to time out or something. This is crazy. How are the DoorDash referrals? Like, I mean, right. Are they over? Hmm? Go ahead. Are they over a hundred dollars or like a thousand dollars? Like what's the? Right now, if somebody uses my link, I'll get three hundred, and they'll get like fifty dollars. So right okay. now, it's not, it's not good for them, but it's decent for me. To change. Okay. Angie says to Reggie, "I do DoorDash only on waiting list for the rest." Lady G says, "Hey guys." Hello. Kiva says, I've been watching y'all evergreen content like crazy, stalking y'all videos and learning and tweaking things to fit me. 
That's what it's about, <laughs> making it fit you. Thank you. Yes. The most important right. thing she said, tweaking it to fit me. Yes. That's another lesson. It's true. Miss Sonia said, LOL, jazz. Diane says, hello, everyone. Just got done with Instacart in the Iowa snow and ice. I don't know if I could do the snow. Today I was doing an Instacart order and I drove over a patch of ice. Let me tell you something. That car, right. <laughs> the anti-lock brakes kicked in and it was literally an intersection. So I stopped right before. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's serious out there. Reggie says to Angie, oh, okay. Leanne Williams says, hey, Dimples and Jazz, y'all are my pretend friends. <laughs> LOL. I have Green. been you too since I started in late September. I live in my upstate and you guys are right about the pay. Thank you, Leanne. Angie says, where is everybody from? Austin, Texas. Detroit, Michigan. Chicago, but I currently reside in Arizona. I am in Northern or North Jersey right now. But Patricia Irv says, what app do you guys use to track your mileage? I Mile use IQ. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the one she uses. <laughs> I use Everlance. Everlance? I use Stride. I use QuickBooks Self-Employed. It came free when I did my TurboTax uh, filing last year, so. Let's yeah, get all four different things, geez. Literally. As long as it gets the work done. <laughs> okay. Let's Gig It says, I use Pride. Blue to Green Travel says, right, I'm excited about my taxes this year. Patricia Irv says, I'm using Gridwise. Does anyone know the good and bad of it? Never heard of it. Me either. Um, I actually have a, uh, not, not a sponsorship with them, but I have a situation with them. Um, it's pretty good, but it just it's so many different things. Like I we in a situation ship right now. Okay, all right. So, but their app does everything, like tell you where the where events are, um, it does tracking, it does like expenses and all of that stuff, but it's a lot and it's a very new thing for them. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a very new thing for them. So if I were you, I would switch to something. One of the four things that we mentioned in regards to um tracking your mileage because it's like a jack of all trades mess number when you have something that is directly specific in mileage you know that company was known for telling you where events are and i'm not saying they're not good at tracking but just do something that's specific on tracking if they're making so, tracking your mileage rather jerome says make sure you or make sure your oil changes insurance interest paid if you're paying a car note this is for your taxes uh-huh the right share culture says, I have an Excel spreadsheet. See, Dimples? You can put that out there. <laughs> <Like, laughs> if you don't sell it, somebody else will sell it. Side says, My 2020 goal is to track my expenses better. Same. Blue to Green Travel says, Right, keep track of all of your expenses. Let's gig it says hi to side gig. Patricia says, so I have to calculate my gas expense too. Yes, calculate. You do. Man, I, calculate. What you mean? You I use I make sure I use my debit card and then I just sift through my statements. I yeah. never pay Boom. for gas ever. Boom. And if I just don't have to I left my card, I got cash in the card. Trust to believe I keep that receipt to remind me that I need to document it somewhere. And you can take a picture of the pump. Put it in the folder. Just have a record of something. Like keep track of those gas prices. Yes. Use a debit card. Isla says you got it. Dimples. <laughs> Blue to green travel says an Excel spreadsheet, something like that. Hmm. Something like that. <laughs> D says multi apping for me entails knowing which app works with another. In other words, shipped with Uber Eats and Instacart with Grubhub. I stopped turning on Uber Eats with Grubhub because they'd be knowing and be having me go in opposite directions. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, they do. 
Tracy says, Postmates helps me reach my goals. I feel pressure with DoorDash. Hmm. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. Let's be good where she is then. <laughs> Side gig says, hi, let's gig it. Let's gig it. And on the go says, bye -bye. great advice, everyone. Wishing you all a prosperous and happy week. Hey, and gentlemen. Yes. And a, a, abundance, yes. Many yes. lessons. Much abundance. T gig says, "What does everyone think about Postmates? <laughs> They're a great company. <laughs> uh, if you need some cash, if you need, you know, less than twelve dollars or twelve dollars an hour, hey, you need some coins or a month, twelve dollars a month, like <laughs> no money, <laughs> no money is no money, you know what I mean?" I, I, I don't work. I don't. I don't have that app. Like I said, I use them for groceries more than I use any other app. So I don't know. As far as money goes, I don't know what you what kind of money you can make. Patricia says, "What is sinking funds?" That's a video that Dimple's going to be making uh, next month, so look out for that. Okay. <laughs> it's a video Dimples has already made, but I will make an updated one. We can make an update. I will make an updated one. <laughs> Reggie says, "Hey Jen, on the go." <laughs> Wait, side gigs coming here. <laughs> My phones are sinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it says, I think PM stinks. Oh, Postmates. Postmates. They do. Janet Collins says, I feel pressure with DoorDash too. I don't like the time guidelines they place upon us. What is this guidelines? Because you mentioned it about being late, but I don't see that on my app. You got to, I ain't going to say you got to be paying attention, but once you. Like before you, when you claim an order, even beforehand, it'll say right above the name of the store or restaurant and it'll say deliver by, let's say 630. And then once you swipe to accept it or you accept the order at the top, it'll say pick up by 620. And then once you actually pick it up, the time may or may not change where it says deliver by 705. So they do have it on there, but it's not like it's not just out there looking at you. You got to really kind of pay attention. It's not small, like fine print, but it's there. I've kind of seen that in my Grubhub. It'll say arrive at restaurant by pick it up by deliver to the customer by. It's not like a countdown timer. It's just like you need to just be at these destinations by that time. Yeah. Mm. Can somebody help me with DoorDash, please? <laughs> Like, I think that's error. Have you guys seen it? I, I think, think I, I posted. Think you posted. What did it say? Huh? Or where was it? Where, was it on Instagram or? Yes, yeah, in my community tab, but also on Instagram. But basically, it's it can't pull the data or something like that. But I was wondering if that is relative to the fact that it's too many drivers in my area. Maybe. You're trying to put yourself on the schedule. Yeah, I'm trying to enable it. The schedules. Put myself a schedule and just start dashing but every time I click it um I get that error and I've uninstalled the app reinstalled it uh turn airplane mode on done all this crazy wonky troubleshooting still nothing call door dash they don't they don't know anything do you try to no. just dash like without putting yourself in the schedule mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh everything I don't know about that one I've never seen that Thank you, Sonia. D says Patricia basically mini a mini savings account. In reference to the sinking funds. Isla Jane says, so I have saved my gas receipts and other things that I bought for the Instacart and Uber Eats. But should I have opened an LLC? I don't yeah. think you have to go that far. Mm -mm. Yeah, you don't have I to. I mean, they did pay uh, <clears throat> Miss W W. Never mind. Miss W W says I drive just to stuff my sinking funds more. I love filling them with cash. Miss Tonya says y'all big money in signing agents just need your notary. Oh, there's big money in signing agents. Oh yeah, yeah, like you don't have to do much. C gig says I've only done one Postmates. Wow. And that's it, huh? <laughs> 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 I do $12 a month, and that's it, huh? 
Uh, Patricia says, all right, got it. Thanks. Denise says, I am just waiting on my paperwork for notary. Tracy Stevens says, I'm interested in becoming a notary as well. That's the vibe, right? Mm -hmm. says, I have looked into notary. D says, what's the Etsy shop name? Dimples uh, on demand. Dimples let's, on demand. Let's get it, says, I'll be purchasing more dimples. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Keep those lights on. <laughs> Lady G says, not sure what I'm doing wrong, but shipped will not hire me. Anyone else have this problem? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody goes to that ship. Some people have to do it three times before they get on. I've heard that a lot. A lot of people in the grocery store would approach me and say, you know, how did they, how did you get on? And I'm like, I just applied. I didn't, I didn't have any issues. It took me either, me two tries to get on. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Tracy Stevens says they're already making changes on postmates. They just need to shut it down at this point. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Blue Green Travel says I've already noticed the Uber Eats app has integrated some of the Postmate features. Oh. Mm -hmm. Kim Johnson says hi guys. Hey Kim. Hi. Christine Johnson says, Dimples, know your worth, girl. You wouldn't have so many subs if you weren't worth it. Thank you. Gang, gang, that's all I'm saying. But you know, I want to, you know, when we get off of this live, that's it. Thank you, Christine. We get off this Thank live. <laughs> Dimples in trouble. No, yeah, we're taking, all taking a flight to New Jersey. <laughs> D says, Lady G, my cousin says she's been having an issue with Chipped as well. No clue what the issue is. I feel like they gotten more relaxed mm. with who they're letting on the platform, to be honest. Mm. Tracy Tracy Stevens says, I'm doing Grubhub right now and it's in double XL order for 80 payout. I'm so juiced. <laughs> nice. I had one of those ones. Real nice. What did you pick up? Like what do you pick up with Grubhub? It's food. It was food, but it was like not I don't want to say catered, but it was more than the normal order amount like it was a lot of food so they call them XL orders oh, okay. I need one of those. the right show culture says what I learned this year is to be organized and change strategy I like that that's important mm -hmm. so that's a lesson we have learned in the gig industry during 2020 is be organized and change your strategy yeah because it, it's not going to work what we're doing this year might not work next year so you have to switch it up. Let's mm. <laughs> you can say it's LOL talking to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and look, it's all it. <laughs> Miss WW says Jazz Chai Town. Okay. Yes. With medium tone hands. <laughs> Tracy says, <laughs> Tracy says, I'm from Cali, but I live in Arizona. Hey. D says, peace out, football time. Go Titans. Praying to the weather gods that this snow in Wisconsin doesn't slow my boys down. K-Bloy? K-B? This person says, love all your videos. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Says, Postmate, she's cracking up. Jerome says, $12 a month, LOL. Kiva says, where... Do you live doing Postmates? I haven't given up on Postmates yet. Let's gig it. It's laughing at the $12 per month. Tracy says, I like Postmates. I combine it with Grubhub and I do just fine. But with Postmates, you have to text the customers. They tend to tip better when you do that. Hmm. Communication is good. K Bloy says, love, love all your videos you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Tracy says the DoorDash guidelines suck. A lot of restaurants are slow and DoorDash doesn't care. When you're late, your score goes down. Oh. Ouch. That's harsh. Grubhub is a little more flexible when it comes to being late due to the restaurants being busy. Mm. Sidegig says Jazz buy an Android, LOL. Heck no. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
That's no. Do it, let's do the his DoorDash update thingy thing. His he had the same issue as me and his phone updated and Apple hasn't done an update for us yet. So uh, he said, Do you have your red card yet? What's that for DoorDash? Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. I enabled it already too. I was working at one point and I didn't do it for like a month after enabling it and now it gets this crazy error. Tracy says, I think I've seen that before, Jess, on my phone and it went away by itself. And Kiva said, because I was getting that error message with DoorDash, as soon as I activated my red card, it worked. She also said, yes, I gig team Android. <laughs> Not over here. <laughs> Let's gig it says, does ship pay more than Instacart? In my area, it does. I would know. <laughs> I'm say no. <laughs> Wait, what happened? They were asking if ship pays more than Instacart. When I had it, it was some good orders. That's all I can say. I don't know what they're doing now in my area, but um, you know, I see some ship shirts out there. I wanna I will leave it at that. They're out there. Ship ships out there. Um, but I'm in my area in Phoenix. I'm gonna say no. They have good batches or not that good, whatever. But Instacart be having like hundred dollars, seventy dollars. So that's true. Yeah, I would that's say no. In my area, Instacart definitely, definitely pays more. But when I was in Brooklyn, it was easier to make money with shipped. Mm -hmm. You could do you. It was just easier. You could do more than one at a time. Tracy says, yes, I have that problem. They wouldn't hire me either. Sonia said, Dimple's love and hate relationship with Postmates. Oh, I actually just hate them. I don't love them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Arlene says, what's up? What's up, y'all? What? I did $315 on Instacart yesterday. And wow. yes. I am that's real good. Yeah, that's great. Where you at, Arlene? Please. Let me some screenshots, Arlene. I'm <laughs> Tracy said, Kiva, I'm doing Postmates in Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh, how far is that? Two hours. Nice. Sonia said, Go, Arlene. Woohoo. Yeah, seriously. Kiva says, ship hired me after three weeks. They said, my background check held me up, but my daughter was up and running with ship in 24 hours. Wow. wow. Tracy says, sushi is the order. It's 19 items. Oh. Wow. And, uh, I'm going to say Faye. Faye said, dimples, well, Mbe, is that it? M M Mobe, Faye, Mbae. This person says dimples were at my restaurant one time, just got into Instacart and did and just got into Instacart and DoorDash since we closed a month ago. Oh wow. What restaurant mm -hmm. was I at? Oh now I wanna know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what restaurant? C Gig says wow Kiva 24 hours. Tracy says Arlene, that's good. I'm proud of you. Yes. Sonia says, Dimples, yes. Time to move different for 2021. We got to. <laughs> Eva said, okay, Tracy, I feel it's the area you in. I had a $20 order with me. Lady G said, I applied six times. Wow. Oh, I. Eva says, yes, see. Uh, took her behind to Target the next day and got her card and did an order. She loves ship. <laughs> Tracy says, as told by Kiva, I agree. It's the area. Les Giga says, I'm in Kroger's parking lot right now watching Gig talk. Okay, y'all. Did Popo just go past me on the bike to see what I was doing? I'm checking. <laughs> uh, <no> <laughs> Mbay says, if the restaurant is late, if it's late, tell on them to readjust the prep time. I used to do it for all drivers when food was taking too long for a big order. Mm. Oh. Oh, the restaurant can do that. 
Wow. I doubt every restaurant would would do that. Most of them give you so much attitude, but that's cool to know it can be done. Yeah. <laughs> How to do things says the only things I hate about ship is customers tip after and some don't tip and they pay every other week. No, they pay they pay every week. Yeah. Um Richard says I only do postmates and Uber Eats in the mornings. However, because I'm a Grubhub premier driver who gets catering orders, it's Grubhub for lunch and dinner. Wow. Christine says, y'all four are the best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Isla says, does anyone have issues with scanning the barcodes or taking pictures while shopping with Instacart in certain stores? Sometimes at the bottom of the receipt, I have to manually type that in, but not really scanning like the barcode on the back of cereal, if that's what you're talking about. Mm -mm. If so, make sure your Wi-Fi is off. Sometimes that could be an issue too. Look, it's Mikey says, oh, hey, you guys. Hi. Thank you. Arlene says, I live in Shirts, Texas, but drive to San Antonio, Texas. I don't, my money. I don't know Shirts. How far are they from each other, those two areas? Uh, San Antonio is probably like an hour and 45 minutes from me. I I have no idea where Shirts is. I've looked that up. But I think that's important, too. Like, if it's not working in your area, Drive a little bit. Like you, you mentioned one time, you're like, if you're going to a regular nine to five, you drive to that job. So sometimes you have to drive to another location to make money. And that was the, actually, that's the city I was referring to. There's some people who live in San Antonio that would drive into Austin, you know, even before this pandemic. And I would see them sitting in traffic, trying to make it to central Austin where downtown is, even sometimes beyond Austin, which is Round Rock is the next area. So there you're driving a good distance to get in your, you know, I guess your W-2. So sometimes you might, if you want to do the gig work, find out where the hot areas are and drive there, make your money and then go home. Yep. And I want to do a shout out real quick because that was the last comment, but I have to shout out Kim Johnson and Amy D for the contributions for better internet. Um, <laughs> well, I'm not having any issues tonight, but thank you guys. <laughs> thank Amen. you. Amen. So does anyone have any last lessons they want to add to what we should have learned in the gig industry during 2020? I think that's some really good ones already. I want to say tracking the mileage. I didn't I really did not start doing that until like a couple months after I had started. So I'm like, oh, I don't need to do this. Yeah. Cause I didn't think that I would be so deep into it. So I started very late tracking mileage. So yeah, that's it for me. That's how it was last year when I first got into it. I wasn't yeah. as diligent as tracking everything and uh, I'm a little bit better now. Jess? I'm thinking. Um, mm -hmm. Think of anything that is like extremely, um, oh, I guess consistency when it comes to the goals that you're setting if you I mean, sometimes, a lot of times I give myself, I cut myself too much slack with good reason, but I feel like, you know, girl, keep going, push yourself harder. And you, you can't really, um, if you're willing, if you're trying to progress to another lateral in life or in whatever you do, you're not going to progress or it's not going, you're not going to see any difference unless you go beyond what you already know or AKA push yourself beyond the points that you've already accomplished, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. For some people, that may be too much. Huh? No, we agree. Um, yeah. But like being consistent and really going, it, really being consistent and going beyond the, the limits that I set for myself. You know, once I reach this goal, hey, I need to be focused on this goal. Always be progressive, always be proactive always know what you want or you know i can't say that people know what they want but focus on you know your desires and what really uh what you want to be the end goal if that makes any sense so for me i guess being more consistent was is my thing like my learning lesson i think about my channel i think about the amount of money that i could have made like i heard you guys say earlier about how um 
like you thought it was going to be good all the time. Well, I think T said this. It was like mm-hmm. thinking that, oh, this is going to be forever. But like I ha- I used to have that same mindset too. And I think, and I had to learn that through this experience of the, the pandemic or just when setting goals, like being like literally like, girl, stay focused because it could change tomorrow, yeah. literally overnight. So that's it. Thank you. I want to shout out Tracy for the super chats. Greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And we have someone calling in. Uh-oh. Hey, friends. Hi. <laughs> How was your holiday? Good. Great. Good. Made it through it. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to come in and ask, how was your holiday? I'm still at Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was you. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, T, I've been wanting to know how your trip was, so I'm stalking you. Like, okay, how was your trip? Then I went on your um on your page, like, how was your trip? And then now I'm on live. I'm like, how was your trip? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, I pretty much ate a lot. Um, did a few activities here and there, but I really it felt good to just get away from Michigan. So I have fun. Thank you. It's always good to get away from Michigan. <laughs> always. Always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be long. I just thought I'd stop in and ask everyone how was their holiday. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, holiday was good. How was your holiday? Yeah. Fun. Fun. It's a lot I can't say on here. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl. You had you had a ball in the sound like. Okay. <laughs> it was fun. That's that's all I can say. Fun is good. Fun is we'll good. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank we'll you so much. Thanks for calling in. Thanks for rocking with us too, because I know you're subscribed to all of our channels. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Definitely. Yes, thank Definitely. you. Definitely. Yeah. I am your number one follower, subscriber, fan, groupie, all that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Have fun that coin. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. He's cool. Yeah. There was something I wanted to add to the lessons learned. Lessons we should have learned. Here it is. The lessons that we should have learned in 2020 is don't look down on this industry. Mm. Trust me. It has come in the clutch for people who never in their life thought that they would ever be shopping for someone else's groceries, driving somebody around, delivering food. A lesson that we should have learned during 2020 in the gig industry is don't look down on the gig industry. Respect everybody's hustle. (laughs) Yeah. My dad, he said to me one time, he said, never be ashamed of an honest day's pay. Mm, I like that. It's very important. Like, you did what you have to do to make the money, and that's fine. Yeah, I, I know for sure. I've never been ashamed. Um, I know relatives of mine, I'm not going to say they were ashamed that I was doing it, but it, it's definitely not celebrated. But I just looked at it as something new because I had started, I want to say Uber, driving for Uber. And they're just like, what are you doing? You've got strangers in your car? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just one of those like free spirit people. Like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Just wanted to, because it's, it's times are changing. Things are not the same. So they don't know how to embrace change. But that's a good one, though. I like that. Yeah. That's a big one. Hey, yeah. y'all. Yeah. Hey, no. oh. What's going on? Hi. How are you? I wanted to definitely hop up here when you said, don't look down on the gig industry. And if I could give a small word of encouragement to the new people that's coming on board, like myself, um, I've seen, and the Facebook group's wonderful, but I've seen the nasty side where There's no constructive support. There was a single mom evicted, getting on her feet. And she was posting, you know, they like to post, I had this order, whatever, that's fine. She put, I'm proud of me this week, I made $550. And I think she did, 
and I'm on memory, 30 deliveries. I'm not sure, but of course, some people got in the comments. Well, when you divide that up by and, and you subtract your 30 percent, I mean, they it. It straight down, and it was like, damn, you know, we don't need your. This isn't your mathematician moment. We didn't ask you to bring your. It, we. When I see women and myself, I don't care whether you took a $3 order to get it. I, I don't know why you took the $3 order. If it served the purpose to get you where you needed to get, take the steps and do it. I, I don't define anyone's journey. And she was really excited and she had inboxed me because I had messaged her, uh, you know, comment on her post. I said, sweetie, this is your, your journey. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right. I mm. said, I don't want to get all scriptural, the lot, his wife, she looked back. That bitch turned to, ooh. <laughs> but she turned to like a soft. Okay, <laughs> can you get into your journey? Okay, because you're going to be soft. Hello? I'm not saying the word. Sorry, Lord. I didn't mean to put the word. But she came in my inbox, and she was like, thank you. She said, I know that I take orders that other people wouldn't take. She said, but this is what I needed to get my rent paid. Mm. I think when people turn their head down, if you ask me, if I ask you and say, hey, y'all, what do you think about this order? I respect that you would say, well, I'm not going to take that because that doesn't help me. I, and you have to respect everybody's journey. And I think being encouraged is your journey. Um, get it how you live. And if it's not tearing up your car and, and breaking down anything on no way and you can handle whatever, if there's 10 more miles, do what you do. And I don't, and I, I get it, work smarter, not harder. But sometimes the journey to get to the smarter is going to be a little harder before it gets smarter. You can't tell nobody they steps to get to this work smarter, not harder. I, I, I just I don't like that. Um, but be encouraged. I think all of you on this panel are awesome. I think everyone in the chat, the community over here is just amazing because I'm also in the budgeting and planner community as well. And then I have a second channel where I'll be over there just talking mad trash, doing whatever I do on that channel. But I look forward to being over here and having the, um, not sisterhood, because we, we got my boy up here, the familyhood, you know, because at the end of the day, the results is go get your money. Yes. You know, it's go get your money. And when it comes down to multi-app, and I'm going to wrap it on up, I do have multiple apps, but I haven't figured out how to cut two on at one time and maneuver that you, you know y'all good with it i'm practicing i'm learning but i'm doing one app at a time so i can learn the moves of the app because i can't what's my press songs being away long story i'm not taking them off um, <laughs> but i gotta learn one app master it get my wear while myers i was pretty proud your girl delivered two orders on time okay Ooh. so i was feeling Pretty good, you know. But yeah, you guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for letting me on. But again, stay encouraged and always remember it's it's your gig journey. And don't let no one look down on you and disrespect what you do. Lastly, if the IRS go make us pay taxes on this money, it's a real ass job. Right. Because they can come garnish you, lock you up, take your bank accounts. If we can get deactivated, mm. As an independent contractor, if it can be took from you, then you have to follow certain rules, a measurement of rules. So you need to respect the income that you're making from the platform as well, because they don't have to let you be on it. Mm -hmm. You know, you ain't going to let them run you, but you do got to have a measure. It's a measure of respect with all these apps, you know, so I just feel away when people try to say, oh, you deliver food. Yes, bitch, I'm bringing you your nuggets. Girl, I got to go. I <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love Thank her. you for the key, but she late. <laughs> and you know what? I'm so glad you mentioned that whole three dollar situation because I took a three dollar and fifty cent Rite Aid order. I think that was yesterday, and you know I have my because y'all know I'm eight fifty nine dollars and up. And I said, you know, I've never done Rite Aid, so let me go ahead and try it. And it was one point seven miles, three dollars and fifty cents. It probably took me eight minutes, and I'm like, okay, that wasn't bad. And some people that I know, even I've done it, a $3 order just to get me home. 
So, you know, people have their reasons. So she was so, she was spot on for that. <laughs> okay, we was in church tonight, y'all. In church. <laughs> I my church. I love her. Well, I thank Tracy for this already. Gig Life commented. Uh, How did you think? You want me to read it or you got it? I like you reading tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You said, I'm originally from Texas, but I'm currently in Colorado and I'm moving back home to Texas next year. Come back where it's warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Level Up said, I learned to ensure that I always have supplies on hand in 2020. Stocking up on sanitizer, mask, etc. This will continue into 2021. Health is wealth. I like that. Okay. I'm going to add to that later, but... uh. Miss Sonia said, and always take care of your inner person as well as the outer. Yes. How to do things says gig life. Yes. Yeah, sh sh shirts 20 miles away from San Antonio. Gig life says nice. Tamika says y'all have a great new year. You too. Yeah. Thank you, Tamika. You too. Diane says, did anyone work on Christmas? Stores in Iowa were closed. Nope. I, I did. I did. I worked uh, Rub Hub. Oh, yes, I did. I'm like, team, we were on the phone together. <laughs> I worked Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash on Christmas. Off. What did you guys deliver, though? Because I guess most places were closed. Like, who's open? Walgreens, CVS, Chinese okay. food. Oh, just Burger to me. Yo, listen. Mm -hmm. I love the hustle. The only place that was open here was the Asian place, the Chinese <laughs> Thai. I swear, they was getting money. Okay. No, I'm dead serious. And I love that. I admire that. Like, to be honest. Jack in the Box was popular down here on Christmas for some reason. I wasn't working. I just saw a lot of long lines. Mm. You said Jack in the Box? Jack in the Box, yeah. Oh. Uh, we lost T. Uh, Sonia <laughs> said, <laughs> that donation ain't coming in time. Oh, wait a minute. What is going on? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Did all of you freeze? Did all of you or was it just me? Uh, we it were here. here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here. And then she act confused. No. Y all, y all, y all, y all. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Continue. Where we at? Miss Sonia said yes. The Fab Four got us lit and turned up. Shonda said yes. Tunde says, preach. <laughs> this is my good friend. <laughs> ah, one of my good friends. Isla says, I am thankful that I have found your channels and the help and advice. Thanks for watching. Tracy says, Dimples, I agree with you. Don't look down on the gig industry. Oops. Let's gig it says, I gigged Christmas Eve for a little, but not Christmas Day. C Giggs says, I wish I would have started gigging before this year. Yep, same here. Kim Johnson says, Dimples, I didn't see your cash app. <laughs> Let me just add that real quick. <laughs> I was like, girl, pin that. Thank you. Oh, we have Ricky here. Who was that? Ricky. No. Oh. Welcome, Ricky. Hi. Hello, how y'all doing? Good, how are yeah, you? Hey. We're alive. Good. Oh, I guess we've actually got on. Um, <laughs> Take I just want to say I love the information you guys are dropping. You know, as a, straight as a black community, trying to get another side hustle is a big deal in our community. The gems you guys are dropping, the knowledge, it's really needed because I remember when I first started, it wasn't that much information out there. And honestly, I had to look to you, you guys' platform in order to find out certain things. So I just appreciate the information that you dropped. Thank oh, you. We appreciate you being here and watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ricky, where are you located? I'm sorry, did you say something? I really. Where are you located? 
Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Um, where are you located? I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm located in Florida. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing Instacart since July. But I signed up for it at all year. I got approved, never touched it, never did anything with it until I got in trouble with the state. I used to work for the state, and anyone who worked for the state know how stressful and underpaid you are and the processes. And so I had to chuck the deuces, and I started doing this full time. How was it in Florida? I'm sorry. How's the market in Florida? The market in Florida is it depends on where you're located, but for the most part it's pretty good. With Instacart, we have a store called Publix. And Publix is like the main store for Instacart where if you have daily items or sub items, they're already made before you get there. It's like there's no wait time at all. Like it's prepared, you go in. We have the aisle numbers on in the app, so you don't have to go hunt all around the store. It's very set up for you to make big money because it's the platform is just set out neatly. I also do DoorDash. I'm signed up for Hub. We have something called Bike Squad that I'm signed up for, and I do Uber. But I mainly do DoorDash and Instacart. Nice. Nice. Any questions? I just want to get on and just say that, you know, I put the information guys are dropping. Especially the hustling part. Because sometimes it's hard to hustle, but this money is not guaranteed in a gig economy. So you have to strike while it's high. That's right. That's true. Because that could be a whole week you got to wait to rebound. So. Well, thank you so much, Ricky. Good thank work, you. information. Enjoy talking thank to you guys. Thank, thank you for, you for watching. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. Shop with Case. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Shop with Case says, "Amen." Dumples one one cocoa full of basket. Right. <laughs> Hey, I can't mess up my good up, good up. You know, I need my little side gigs. <laughs> Diane says, I'm sending my daughter to college with working Instacart. Wow. Oh, nice. Good. No student loan debt. Amazing. He says, I don't know who on this live is praying against my boys, but you better not order more than two waters and live in an apartment or you're going to have to come and get your order. <laughs> Y'all, I had to deliver four cases of water on it. I think it was two, three stores. Oh my god! Wow. C gig says I love Kiva. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, how to do things says people try to talk down on the gig economy, but I know people who make six figures in the gig economy. One yeah. of them is a single mother who signed me up for Uber three years ago. Wow. Amen. Sidekick says Uber Eats was my first app and I did it late at night after my other job. If I went out for three hours and made $30, I said that is $30. I would not have sitting at home. This is true. Mm -hmm. Chrissy says, yes, Kiva. Shonda says, love Kiva. Sakitha says, I love Kiva. <laughs> Sidekick says, I don't do that now, but everyone is not in the same situation. Uh -huh. Denise says, love Kiva, spot on. Kiva says, love y'all. D says, hi, gig. That's how it is. But when you learn, you know how to work the app. Yeah, yep. Jerome says, Chicago Instacart was closed. For Christmas. Tracy says, has anyone looked into doing medical courier deliveries? Someone mentioned that in my comments on one of my videos, but I haven't digged into it. If you know any, comment down below because it's all you think about descriptions and, and dropping it off. So it sounds very easy. Mm -hmm. I actually met someone today who there's a hospital called Rutgers uh, University Hospital, and he said he's starting a job 
picking up COVID specimens. So wow. it's a little gig. Tracy says I worked on Christmas. Kiva said Mediterranean was open. Okay. Side gig says D that was a long time ago. Everything I do now is different, but apps were not as busy back then. Hmm. Tracy says on Christmas I did Postmates only because Grubhub was not open here. I made a quick sixty dollars. Nice money. Blue to Green Travel says, I will take an order sometimes because the store, too, no matter how much it pays. I guess you mean he'll take smaller orders no matter how much it, how much it pays? Thank you. Christine said, Kiva is the ish. <laughs> he said, I was drinking heavy on Christmas. I wasn't going to go nowhere but to the Kiva. <laughs> Uh, here's my cash app. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> send her money. Shonda says, house shipped in Florida. Oh, he's gone now. Blue to Green Travel says, is anybody doing spark deliveries for Walmart? Still you know what? <laughs> they finally emailed me. I think I'm supposed to be getting something in the mail in one or five days. I don't know, but we're going to see. Is that like that um, something was wrong with my ID? The my ID number. So they had me resubmit that like a few days ago. So I'm just waiting to hear back. You just pick up orders with them or do you shop them? Just pick it up. It's okay. just, they bring it to your car. Mm -hmm. And you take it to the, the customer's house and that's it. Nice. Miss Sonia says, I want to close in saying presentation is everything. Please present ourselves well. These customers be talking about people showing up like they haven't bathed with dingy clothes on. Oh, I've oh, seen gosh. it. Really? Yeah, I've seen it. Too. Seen it? Really? Yeah. Pajamas, like cutoffs, <laughs> just out there. <laughs> or leggings that you could see straight through. Like, yeah. come on, girls. <laughs> come on. Christy said, yes, each of your channels helped me become more comfortable and motivated. Keep it up. Also, I love the lives. Awesome. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Miss Sonia, yes. We reached the end of the cut. Wow, dude. Ooh. I have not seen any people not dressed to par. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. It's scary sometimes. Like, I'm actually going to go deliver groceries looking like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I will say, in Costco last week, I saw two people that I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, you're going to somebody's house, honey. Where you going? <laughs> I did notice that with two different people, a man and a woman. So, I don't mm. know. so, you know, I'm thinking about coming to New York to take, you know, Dimple's orders. What y'all think? <laughs> can you actually you Instacart in? In? in uh, I'm sorry. No, not what Instacart. She can have that shipped. Oh, can you do that though? Yes, mm -hmm. she taught me how to do it. Yes, really. You can actually switch it in the app. And I was like, this whole time, I did not know that. And I'm like, the ship queen? <laughs> yeah. And you know what's That's funny? Like, like, I was just thinking that the orders that you might think are crap might be like gold to me. Like when it comes to chip, like as far as the pay, because it's like, it's so much more expensive to live out there. But to me, if I see $30, I'm like, give me, give me. That's millionaire status out here. You're making me dollars an hour. Now, can you do the same thing with Instacart, uh, Dimple? Yes. You could just change the region. It's like a check-off box, and you check yeah. off which region you want to work in. Girl, wow. Mm -hmm. So, I think, I don't know if anyone has any last... Um, thing to add because we're not going to see each other until next year or be together like this until next year I should say I can think of <laughs> what's the 2021 goals just general you don't got to get all deep one more stream of income I want to at least get one more stream of income to be debt want free Woo! Go ahead, girl. I said. I said <laughs> that. Um, I want to be consistent and to expand on my multiple streams of income. Expand in number for each one. 
I want to get a rental property in 2021. In Detroit. And anyway, I don't care where it is. <laughs> in Detroit, it's fine. Really? Oh my God. Anyway, I don't even care where it is. <laughs> yes. And let's just finish up these comments and then we can sign off. Nobody. If y'all want to call in, the call in link is there. Um, um, Zion Gate says, I see it all. So I, I see it all when I'm picking up food. Wow. I bet you do. I bet you do. Shop with K <laughs> says they dress like they was by <laughs> I, except in a bet on the Long Island. <laughs> Diane says, does anyone have spreadsheets to keep track of expenses? Dimples? Big life? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. That's all I do. <laughs> but I know somebody who does. The going to be up, y'all, in the new year. It's going to be up. <laughs> Okay. Why didn't I skip over this comment? <laughs> I have a spreadsheet, Diane, and my crew here is letting me know that it's I need to start purchase. Off. It's going to be up for purchase, okay? It should be out months ago. But... <sighs> Let's just move on. <laughs> Ms. WW says, I'm still on the waiting list for Instacart. Does it really take this long? Then it's October 2nd. Wow. Depends on your market. There's a lot of people out there. It might be that long. Are you in Chicago? I think she said, I don't know if she's in Chicago right now or what, but. We got a call up. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? How are you? This thing is like breaking up. I don't know. You sound clear to us. Yeah, this thing's breaking up. Hold on. I can't believe it. Hold on. Hello? We can hear you. You're good. Damn, this is horrible. I can barely hear you. All right. Turn your YouTube. Yeah, turn your YouTube uh, browser what? Close the YouTube browser. Damn. It's probably what it is. It's probably the browser. Dimples, why can't we send anybody's name? Oh, I think it's because it's too many of us. Oh, I was God. looking. <laughs> I said the same thing. Once it hits three people, it just disappears. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Show displays names is checked, but I think the more people you add, I don't know. It's not coming up on my end. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay. They know us. <laughs> I'm just talking about for new people, so I say because I don't know how to greet people when they happen over here. I just be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I don't know people's it's, names. It's not and my server is flooding the shoppers. Um, what were we saying? What's the next episode going to be about? Have you guys decided? I have a really good topic, but I don't want to put it out there unless Dimples wants me to. I didn't even tell her about it. Let me send it to her first. Okay. I thought the season was over. What? I, said, I thought the season was over. Today or next week? I thought it was this week. Is next week? Oh well, you guys, season one. <laughs> season one. We gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, so no. maybe next week is the season finale. This is I a like real show. I love it. That'll be January. Yeah. It should be now. Oh, we have oh, another. But it was so much fun. Hi, Christine. This was, fun. This was very fun. Hello. Oh, it's a oh, I can't even see myself. Hi. Hey. Hi. I look like a clown. I'm at work right now. I thought I'd sneak in and say, oh my God, it's so nice. Y'all, all four of y'all need to do this every week. I'm serious. <laughs> this is the coolest Thank ever. You. <laughs> Thank you. And dimples, you know better than that. What? You 
Like I said before, know your worth. Oh, you have so much to yes. offer. Don't all, you know? all of y'all do. Don't you know? All of y'all do. We That's what I'm saying. Them. You can't speak. Don't be speaking like that. You gotta be like jazz. Speak, speak the good stuff into existence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so excited to see all four y'all. Oh my god. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I just got my car because uh, uh, of a, a situation that I uh, hit somebody else parked but anyway um so i have a temporary tag that's why i asked that question um uh because i haven't been doing any of the apps because i've been working at my pizza job marco, marco. oh i love marco's pizza but uh yeah so it, i that works six days a week and i work like 10 out 10 to 12 hours a day so it's what? it's been doing good 100 miles a day on my, on my car oh. but anyway it's so good to see y'all and be talking to y'all. And <laughs> uh, a journey with T, she crazy. <laughs> I, was, I, was watching, I was watching your video earlier. Um, who was the one? <sighs> anyway, I watch all of y'all anyway, and I really enjoy y'all's commentary and so on, especially with gig, gig life and his little uh, alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all be best. blessed. Happy New Year's. I, I, I gotta I have to get back to work. Well, I'm actually finished the delivery and now I'm getting ready to go back to, to the store. But y'all are beautiful people, really. And God bless y'all and happy new year to you. Looking forward to another one of these every week. My name is Christine. I'm Christine Johnson. Nice okay, to see, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to put a face to a name because I talk to you yeah. all the time. Yeah. Hey. Yep, yep, yep. Because I'll be on there. I'll be watching y'all and <laughs> and you with your, <laughs> with your with your sushi burrito. Oh my god. I wish we had something like that here. That was yeah. good. That looked good. Yeah. <laughs> we need some more West Indian restaurants over here too. That's closer yeah. to where I live. I'm but originally from you. Massachusetts. Oh. I'm in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love that so, area. Okay. Yeah. So I just I don't do downtown though, in a harbor, because ooh, that's a little far for me sometimes. I used to do I did when I first started, I did Lyft and Uber. Um, and I did downtown because I would leave work and go downtown and put turn on the app because that's where all the money really was. But and I gotta figure out how to do DoorDash in different areas too, but it's still a far drive, the dead miles they call it. Mm. Um, yeah. And then Jazz, you were saying something about um. Well, I, I'm not trying to plug anybody else, but Reezy resales in reference to the pallets and the storage. Um, he sells books and and does a, a retail arbitrage. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but oh yeah, if you check, that guy. If you, he was doing it yeah, if you check, big, right? yeah, if you check him out, um. He, um, I think he did do Instacart, by the way. I forgot all about that. But yeah, if you check his website, his YouTube out, he has things where you could, he teaches you how to do the, the retail arbitrage and, the, you know, you go in, you scan the item, you see on some website that he has. On Amazon, um, where you yeah. could, yeah, And he sells on Amazon. He sells books and all that stuff. So Nothing. it's a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. I forgot about him. Thank you. I need to write that down too. Thank you. Yeah. Reezy Reese. Yeah. Reezy resales, yeah, and he just bought he just bought a uh, a PS5 for five hundred and forty three dollars. Then he he was gonna give it away, but he decided to sell it for nine hundred. Woo! And use he and he used that nine hundred dollars and gave it away to other people. Wow. It was so that awesome. Was nice. anyway, but yeah, but you guys you guys are awesome. Just thought I'd come in and say hi. Hopefully I don't get in Well, she don't watch this channel. Anyway. But um, <laughs> I won't get in trouble. <laughs> well, God bless you again. I, I gotta go. I'll talk to y'all another time. Bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> you just gave me motivation. Okay, 10, 12 hours. Okay. Everybody, their mama is on this live, y'all. Y'all are really inspiring for real. Yeah, because I'm up here like, all right, seven hours, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear y'all. Oh my this God. Is it you is terrible. Hear? He's coming. I can hear him. Okay, can hear him. We can hear you. We can hear you. 
Research I hear you. Are you on your phone or are you on the computer? I hear your TV in the background. Right. I wonder if he's on his phone. Are you on your phone? It look like it. I can't hear y'all. I'm sorry. It's all right. Hello, sir. Oh, okay. I think he's on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Christina speak last time? My bad. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't hear y'all. Okay. <laughs> he put some headphones on. Try that. Sorry, brother. Was Christine the one that snuck last time? Yes. <laughs> yes. That was her. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm at work. I'm at work. Okay. Yeah. That was her. That was her. Uh, I think we're done. Do you want to finish up the comments and then wrap it up? That's cool. Mm. Dang, where did I leave off? It's a lot. Uh <laughs> 905. No, yeah, 905 with Miss Sonia. Uh we can start there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Miss Sonia said home-based business. I think that's her goal for 2021. Mm. Side gig says everyone have a safe and happy new year. You too. You too, side gig. How to do things says I want to start my podcast. Me too. I want to do that. Christy says, yes, Detroit, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I'm trying to get her here. <laughs> I invested my money I made from Uber Eats and Instacart and started my yard card business. Okay. Nice. Congratulations. Blue to Green Travel says, okay, cool. Okay, cool. One word of advice. After you start Walmart, they do try to micromanage just a little bit. Old habits die hard but the money is good and the app likes to fight with Instacart for your attention. It's a spark out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. D says, Ms. WW, I think in some markets it's overcrowded. Ms. WW says, I'm 45 minutes from Chicago South suburbs. Okay. Christine says, y'all need to do this every week. It's so nice to see you all right here together. Thank you. Be fun to come back. <laughs> Says Miss WW, where are you? I am in West Suburbs. Instacart is really flooded with shoppers. Wow. He says, I think that market is slow. Shop with K says, I want to do more on my YouTube channel and just to save more for the new year and also getting my mom here in the US. Oh, nice. Yes. Good luck. D said to upgrade. I think they just started allowing alcohol orders. Uh, uh, uh. What's the comment, Gig? I just won't do alcohol. I just think it's just too risky. I see so many people in the Facebook group saying how they got fake driver's license, the, their kids. I, I'm just not trying to go to jail for someone's. Mm -hmm. alcohol. I won't do an alcohol. I won't get the certification to get alcohol deliveries. Mm -hmm. So what? For Instacart, wow. I think Instacart has it, Favor has it. Any app that has the alcohol option, I opt out. <laughs> so what? I just I just don't want to scan nobody's ID. Just I don't want to drop it off, take a picture and leave. Yeah, I don't want to have Instacart to Instacart and uh I just you guys gotta scan the back of it and if it's legit, it's legit. If it's not, you just it'll make sure it matches and boom, that's it. Because you make I feel like you make more money that way. Mm. Do you does the app scan it like legit? Like, it, does it like scan it against like a database or something? Mm -hmm. like, sure. Yeah, you have to scan the back of it, and that's gonna pull up. And even if it pulls up a different name, that's how you know it's gonna be a fake ID because that name is not gonna match what visually is shown on their ID. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What Maybe. But it's the card. Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? <laughs> a little bit. Hello. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> he tried it every day. Poor guy, he tried I it. I, okay, I think I could, I think I can hear you guys clear now. Okay, okay. what's going on? Welcome, so, 100 caller. How are you doing? I'm good, man. What's going on with y'all? We're good, good, man. Listen, gig life is the sh if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, man. I appreciate that. Gig life. It's like it saves it saves lives, man. This is like you know, it's it's um, 
it's well needed. Cause um, Lord knows I got bills upon bills that I have to like, you know, take care of. So it's, it's a it's a blessing, and um, it's my first time even calling into something like this. But she's the one who put me onto all of this. How many apps do you work? I work two. What are the apps? Uh, Instacart and um, Uber. Uber Eats. It's a good combo. Yeah, you got to know how to work them. I mean, it's it's, it's uh, difficult, but you have to know how to work them. And um, and uh, once you once you get the hang of it, you know, it should complement each other well if you know how to work them. Yeah. You know? So those. Do you those think it's only... needed to do a multi-app video? Say that again. I mean, do you think it's needed to have a multi-app video like a desert? I mean, we all do it in our videos, but I think just making like a specific video to just, I don't know, kind of just give the common sense of how to multi-app. Do you think there'll be a video worth making? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I mean. Because the, the lady who came up earlier, she's like, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Like I see you guys do it all the time, and well, I you know, think. I think it depends on what app she uses. Like me, I, I have um I have Instacart and Uber Eats, right? But Instacart is my main app that I use. But if let's say I have a I accept the Instacart order and it's like like twenty minutes away north or whatever, twenty minutes north or whatever, and the Uber eats um order comes in going the same direction i'll take that order too on my way to go start my instacart order also and i'll drop it off and then go and then i'll start my instacart order so you just you just got to know how to work it you know don't be stupid by just taking accepting any order that comes comes your way you know you have to be smart about it but you know that's true. Have you ran into issues where you've had to actually wait like over 10 minutes or over 20 minutes or maybe 15 minutes for something and then drop it off and then be almost late for the Instacart one? For um, Uber Eats, you mean? Mm -hmm. No, I never really ran into that. My, my, everything is um, get in and get out for, with Uber Eats as far as, as far as me, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. What area are you in? Huh? Where are you located? I'm in New York. New York. Yeah. So everything is pretty much in and out. And, and um, as far as my experience with Uber Eats, everything's in and out. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the more you the more you do it, the more you, you'll get accustomed to, you know, this is for the viewers. I know you guys are like professionals, but. No. <laughs> We're not professionals. <laughs> I'm experienced, but I'll never say I'm a professional. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've been doing this since like, uh, since March, early March or something like that. So it's a good thing to get into, man. If you if you if you guys want to, you know, make extra money and you know have goals and stuff like that. So what is your goal? My goal. Mm hmm You really wanted me to say this now. Okay, don't say it then. <laughs> now, nah, my goal, honestly, is to. I have student loans that I have to clear out. So once I clear that out, then um, that's like the main goal. That's a goal for many people. Yeah. Yeah, that's the main goal. So um, once I clear that out, then I will start thinking of thinking of other goals. Because I can't really, you can't really okay. focus and plan other things without really taking care of those that you owe because they're not going to stop calling. Mm -hmm. They're not going to stop knocking. They're not going to stop. So once, once I get rid of that, that's like a, that's, that'll be a weight off my shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. No problem. <laughs> Listen, I love the show, so continue the good work. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.
Ay, 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 ay. That we miss so much. I don't even know if y'all want to go through all of these. Your show. Yeah. Um, mm, they're kind of talking to each other. Yeah. <laughs> They don't really care. Oh, right? <laughs> this one. Christine always sneaking at work. Oh, I can't even show. She is always sneaking. Um, nine twenty five. I'm gonna have to go. Thanks for stopping in, Jack. Yeah. No problem. Thanks for staying so long. We appreciate it. No problem. I appreciate y'all. I had fun, and you guys have a wonderful evening. And to everybody else that's watching, we need. Blessing, stay at peace, and in love, everybody. Happy New Year. Bye. Oh, yeah, happy New Year. Bye. I like the one from 9 25 p.m. Uh, I can't click it for some reason. I don't know. Is that it? Nope. Down. This one, right? That's Miss Brooks. 925. Mm-hmm. It's not changing. You see it? It's like something's frozen. That one? Yeah. Um, that's Miss Brooks says, what do you suggest in trying to double your income and not get too tired? Um, I feel like for me, seeing the money in the app was all the motivation I needed. That it, to me, it was just really that simple. I missed out on food, using the bathroom. I saw money. I just went to go get it. I was, I was, I can't say I was tired. It's like that adrenaline kicks in. So I, I probably was tired and didn't even know it, but I saw money and that's all it took. Money will make you move. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you, I, I don't know like what, apps you're working or what makes you tired but the one thing that helped me is um just for one just switching up sometimes i got tired just driving so to get up do an instacart order to stretch my legs out kind of revitalize me if i only had uber and i got tired of you know the road rage and getting in and out of my car that i would probably just you know call it a day but to be able to break it up that's one thing and if you're doing you know the grocery apps maybe trying to focus on as people have told me and i'm actually starting to listen Focus on trying to find those bigger orders. You might spend more time in the store, but your money's going to come together a little bit faster. So just maybe trying a different strategy than what you're trying. Mm. And as Dimple always say, stay away from heavy items. Because <laughs> I did a Sam's order the other day, and I shouldn't have done that. But um, <laughs> yeah, just maybe try that. She followed up. She said, I'm saying if you have a full-time job and work in extra with Instacart. Mm. Somebody has experience doing a full time job and working gig apps. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that tell you what she's drinking not to be tired. <laughs> um, I get tired. You guys can see that on my videos that I'm just like I'm tired. But it depends on what my goal is at the time. Like if I'm trying to go on vacation and I want the vacation money, or if I don't know, like. If I have to buy something, if I have to do something, that's what motivates me to really get out there. But I get tired, I really do. And I do have to tell myself like, it's okay to not make $800 or $1,000 a week. It's, it's all right to make 500. So I just think you need to find your own oh, personal really? talent. You can fatigue, it's all right to make 500. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is okay to make 500. I've been in a sweet spot of 600 for the past few weeks and I'm all right with that. But see, it's like, for me, I, I just, I don't, I don't really get tired. Like, honestly, I, it was the money because even working a little bit less than part-time at my primary job, I would wake up. I didn't have to be at work till 2 PM. So I'm still up at six, seven randomly because that excitement to see money in the apps I'm like, shoot, I'm going to just work until I have to go to work. And while I'm at work, I'm still scrolling, even though I can't do my orders. It was like a true addiction. So, you know, it, it there was no, I didn't have any problems. None. It, it wasn't hard to balance before work and after work. And then my off days, I'm doing gig work. Right. Mm -hmm. 
simple for me. Yeah, when I was getting out of debt, it was all I was working all the time before work, lunch break, after work, four in the morning, five in the morning. I didn't care. Like I just, I think when you have a goal like that that motivates you, you will get up. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're just kind of doing this, I'm just trying to pull extra money back, then you don't probably maybe have to go so hard. Mm-hmm. But I think you have like big responsibilities on your back, like the rents due, kids got to get fed, like you, you're trying to get yourself out of debt. Those things will make you jump. So yeah, yeah. She said, uh, oh, well, Diane said, 2021 goal, pay off credit card debt, start Uber Eats and DoorDash. Oh. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to do a show here. <laughs> so professional. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Nine thirty. Oh well, Max. Max, Max said, "I like what, girl." D. <laughs> Max said, "I like driving, and I can't never sign up for Instacart. Can someone help me with that, please?" You mean like you're not getting hired, or are you just not finding the link to sign up? Because if it's anything like shit, people have to do what six times sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> D said, Miss Brooks, it depends on your area. Look at it as extra and make time for yourself. I work full time with a child. My time is limited, so I work around it. Yeah. Take make time for yourself. Ada says, How do you guys calculate tax returns? CPA or get TurboTax, something like that. It'll help you through it. But just it just depends on your circumstance. I don't know how many apps you've ran, how many businesses you have that you might be comfortable doing TurboTax. For the past year, I did my, all, every time I did my tax, I did with TurboTax, whether I had a W-2 and when I started doing this, but since I have so many now and other things, this year I think it's gonna be a better benefit to get a CPA. Miss mm. Brooks says, thank you. I just did Instacart today and yesterday and made $200. So just coming back out with Instacart was a plus for me. But thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. D says what Gig Life says. I switch between apps not to get tired. Mac says, I have a question doing DoorDash that I'm doing right now. How can you make more income doing that job? I would say to wait for promos, like wait until the busy times, which are typically lunch and dinner, but that's in my area. So you can't go wrong between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. and then 4 to 9 p.m. and then anything after like 10 o'clock at night. One God says, Dimples, you are the bomb or you the bomb. You blushing? You good? Yeah. No, that's the person that just called. <laughs> that's the person that just called. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, that is the end, I think. <laughs> it's been two and a half hours. Wow. Um, yeah, we're going to head out. Unless somebody else wants to call in one last uh, go round. Tamika said, I'm glad I made the live. Been out all day, nine hours, $150 plus. Nice. Making it. Y'all putting me to shame. I feel bad. (laughs) What you made? I'm not. You got to watch the video because I'm not about to tell you on here. (laughs) What did you call the plan? The dimples on demand plan? Yeah. Mm. Wait till I watch the video. Ooh, I'm going I'm to take it down. And I'm going to just... <laughs> uh, oh, one guy said I made $140 Ooh. four hours. I'm coming out there. I'm coming to New York. <laughs> Or Jersey, one of them. Yeah, well, any one of them. <laughs> Both yeah. come to Jersey for cheaper uh, lodging and then <laughs> drive over to New York. Oh, yeah, you stay by me. You get free lodging. 
Ooh. Even better. Drive. All right, that's it. We made it. This was a good show. Episode five, season one. It was fun. Thanks for inviting me on here today. Lady Thanks for really putting up with us. <laughs> great time. Really great time. Shout out to Jazz too. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode. And I guess we're having an episode six, according to T. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> we'll figure it out and tell you guys. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy, Happy New Year's. Year. Is it New Year or New Year's? New Year. Both. Both, right? I don't know. People argue about it all the time on Facebook. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. And we will see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> what happened to him? He just clicked off. <laughs>